Okay, looks like we're live. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Another surprise stream. There's always going to be surprises. Because uh, the streams aren't planned anymore. So I thought, I just felt like playing Nakari today. Because I don't think I've covered him in ages, and I just... Feels sexy. Let's jump in and see how it goes. Uh, in terms of uh, settings, Endgame Crisis set to 200, but we'll show up late in the campaign. Um, I don't like focusing on Endgame Crisis. So, alright, let's jump in. You was about to go to bed? Go to bed. You can always watch the VOD afterwards. The sun is red today. I did some color correcting on the capture device. If I show you what it's like without the filter, I, I should probably drop off the saturation. That's what it actually looks like. Let me just make some adjustments. I think the um, the saturation is too high. Let me just pop it down a bit. Could also make myself purple. How about that? Look, I'm a Slaneshi demon. <laughs> How do you feel about Slanesh as a faction compared to release? Uh, they're a little bit better. I, I've always kind of liked Slanesh as a faction. I think their mechanics are good. I think their tech tree kind of sucks. But they could definitely use a bit of DLC. Uh, DG did a $5 super chat. What is the secret to playing a Nakari campaign well? I always get shredded by the high elves. Basically, uh, Nakari is the kind of faction that you need to know how to micro. There's no like... Until, listen on to the late campaign, you're just not going to be able to fight these battles unless you're order resolving them without having good micro. You just won't be able to do it. Because their units are very fast, very micro intensive. You can get a lot of value out of them, but you actually have to make clicks. And for Total War Warhammer, a game that has typically speaking not required you to have good micro, it's a bit of a culture shock. Uh, Dementia to attend a bit. Hey Legend, which Total War do you think had the best gunpowder smoke effects? Probably Shogun 2. Or Napoleon. Not something that I would consider overly important, but um, those are the two. They're definitely not Warhammer. Uh, Riley Oliver did a 5 dollars here. As a selfish American, I really love the new stream time. Thanks, mate. Alright, no, dude. Not Come on, discipline, discipline, discipline. Master. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh, I got lucky. I'm going to save you. The cult yearns us move. Do the whips still suck? The hell scourges? Uh, I don't know. I haven't played Slanesh since a while ago. Manscape shirt? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I swear I'm gonna wear it. It's, it's because of these surprise dreams, right? I don't plan these out. Like, 10 minutes ago, I wasn't even going to live stream, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going to live stream. I just wasn't wearing it. <laughs> All right. What do you guys think? Should I should I revert back to regular colors or should I keep my face purple? Uh, Devil's Triangle became a member for 34 months. Uh, Gishun did a five dollars subject. Last time I did this, Nakari got killed in the Warden's Cage, but I whipped Yvress on that turn. Was never able to recruit them again. Luck my ass off. Good luck. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for the chat. Hey, Lemon Play, how's it going, dude? Okay, so. I think what we want to do to begin with is... Oh god, they're hiding in the forest. No 
Awesome. Keep it purple. Alright, we'll stay purple then. I don't care. I don't care. Embrace the purple. Alright, Nakari totally could waste all their ammo. But they're choosing to fight in the forest, so doesn't really favor them either. XJS became member for 16 months. Bless you, my guy. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. I'm scared to play Slanesh because I suck at micro still. Well, the thing is, Slanesh is a really good faction to learn micro. Just play it on, like, a lower difficulty. Yeah, you can use it to learn. Because you know how you get better at micro? You just go download more RAM. And it just comes from practice. It just comes from, um... Yeah, it just comes from practice. Bart Cola did a $20 super chat. Hello, Legend. Long time. First time. Uh, you caught me at the right moment. The... At the right time, so here's some money. Let's carry on. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, that Lash of Slanesh isn't doing a ton of damage. But it's better against blobs and armored units, because it's like 100% armor piercing. But that's okay. Every bit of damage counts, even if we're not getting kills. It's not like they're getting any damage in. No, not really. So I'm not trying to waste her ammo here, although I could have. I just thought I'd do a bit of damage to them to begin with. Still no kills. So learning the alt drag is a really good way to uh, improve your micro because it's such an easy way to make a lot of really good decisions very quickly with minimal clicks. And that's what that's what good micro is about. It's not about making shitloads of clicks a second. It's about making as good of a decision as you can with as few clicks as possible. Sometimes you just need to do a lot of clicks, but don't overly complicate your um your stuff. I'm trying to draw the archer fire away so they're not shooting at my demonets or anything there. Uh, Stern made the two pound super chat. You good? Yes, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks, super chat. <laughs> you do stream pretty late compared to before. How are you doing? Well, that's because I'm streaming at a time that's convenient for me now, not not at peak time. See, it's um, 9 o'clock in the morning for me. This would be the normal time. People would actually start going to work. You know, for normal people. And the car needs to go after the single entity. Do you reckon Nakari's faction is better than Scarbrand's? No. <laughs> Just easy, easy to answer that. No. I would actually go so far as to say that Scarbrand is the strongest faction in the game. 
champion to Chaos Dwarves. No, I still think Scarbrand's stronger. So yeah, minimal damage there. Wasn't super micro intensive. But, yeah. Mm, no, I don't let him go. We want to get as much experience and money as possible, so and devotees if possible. Does Nakari still stop charge too early? Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem with him. Yeah, he charges right in front of them. Uh, v became member for four months. Stream two of Asking Legend for this is Total War plus Ultima Crisis only fan stream. Just kidding. Unless love you. Sorry for missing the past streams. Okay, I don't have to apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not doing that. Thanks for Super Chat. Um, Luke Endian did a $5 Super Chat. G'day, Legend. All the best, mate. Enjoy your weekend. Alright, thanks, you too, and thanks for your first Super Chat. Is your face cam intentionally purple colored, you fiend? No, I've been corrupted by Slanesh. This is how I look now. Uh, nice. Caught your stream early. What's that Legend Total War in chat? Oh, seven. Yeah. At Legend Total War, will you start uploading the VODs of these live streams on the channel again? They're still there. They're all they're all there. I don't know what you're talking about. Grasket Cat did a £10 Super Chat and Nakari stream, and it's the first time I caught you live. Let's go. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks for the Super Chat. Appreciate it. Thanks for your first super chat as well. Will Ferret did a ten dollar super chat. How would you rank the four Chaos Gods, Nurgle, Corner, Slanesh, Zinch, in terms of personal favorite themes, aesthetics, not gameplay? Uh, okay. Uh, in terms of aesthetics, Zinch is number one. But in terms of gameplay, definitely not. I, I just don't think it's that fun. Um, what do I want here? Money or do I want replenishment? I think we didn't really take any serious damage. What about? Hang on. Um. I would go uh, Zinch, Slanesh, Nurgle, Corn in terms of aesthetics, but in terms of gameplay, it goes Corn, Slanesh, Zinch, Nurgle. Tempting. Get to full strength or a tiny bit of favor. I think I'll go to full strength. Dirt thirsty two dollars. Super chat. Time to kill some Asur. Yep. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate it. Okay. So here's an interesting thing. You, it depends on what you want to do, right? Whether or not you want to vassalize these guys here. You don't want to vassalize them with a major settlement. So if you occupy Torakare and then vassalize them here, um, that's one way to go about it. But I don't think I want to make them a vassal because having loads of high off vassals will make like, Chaos Factions hate you. <laughs> so, yeah, there's still a little bit of an issue with that kind of yes. stuff. Alright, what do we want first? I don't really need Root March. Oh, we've got two, oh, we've got two levels up for that. That's interesting. Um, I like speed. Hmm, yeah, I'm going to go with speed. 12% speed is good. I also really need Nakari to... Hmm. Cast this faster, maybe? No, I'm gonna go with this one and this one. I don't know. Gift of my master. So I'm, I'm actually not going to vassalize these guys, so I'm going to occupy this one first. Because they're not going to have a chance to recruit. And also, that's going backwards. We don't want to do that. Alright. Yeah, i got to fight this manually. There's no siege, right? No, like, minor city map. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Favorite Worm in 3 faction? Uh, I guess say Scarbrand. Do I still play Wormer 2 or just 3? I don't play Warhammer 2 anymore. It's not that I don't love Warhammer 2, I do. It's just that I've kind of played everything that Warhammer 2 has to offer. It's not being updated anymore. I just, there's not, 
there's nothing else to do. Um, Oxys did a CHF5 super chat. Love the energy of the streams now. So good to see you enjoy yourself again. Here are some Galway Swiss gold for you. Okay, appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat. Can you vassalize legendary lords factions? Yes, you can. You can vassalize anyone, I think, except for this. Actually, I'm not sure. Can you if you can vassalize Cetra? All right. So Nakari with that extra 12 speed, it's good. Makes it easier to dodge. Since most of their units are archers, yeah, I think I will waste all their ammo. I thought you couldn't do this anymore. What do you think about Warriors of Chaos in general? I think they're in a really good place at the moment. Um... Some of the changes I'd like to see with Warriors of Chaos is I'd like to see them be able to... For all of them to be able to confederate each other. That's what I'd like to see, by some means or another. I don't like that only Bellicor and Archeon can do it. That typically means I usually only play them. Um, everything else with them is pretty good. They're in a really good place. Uh, Dez Dog did a £5 super chat. Nakari is one weird looking dude do that thingy. Yep. Yep, indeed he is. Thanks for Super Chat. Appreciate it. Henry Lee did a $6 Super Chat. Nice to see Pink Legend playing my favorite faction. Alright, no worries. Thank you for the Super Chat. Bring these guys out now. And let's start casting magic. So yeah, that gave us a bit of a chance to generate some magic. And it's uh, crippled their balance of power. Because yeah, our army is very much vulnerable to early game missiles. Having you know, no armor, pretty much. Also, this will lead to an earlier army losses because we just don't want to be damaged for the next battle. This battle here is just a sideshow. We just want to make sure that the next fight we are in perfect shape because it's going to be a bit of a fight. Powell did a PL intensive check today, mate. Any predictions on the next DLC? No predictions. I have no idea. No one faster. My predictions are almost always wrong. I don't know why anybody asks me. Okay, we should have thinned them up enough now. Just charge into a blob and have these guys go and flank around the sides. You go in there as well. For you. Master Blaster 69 became a member for 21 months. Damn, just going to bed. Can't wait for the VOD. I uh, love these random live streams. Nice little treats. Have fun. I hope you're doing well. Alright, thanks, dude. Hope you're doing well as well. I'm doing. I'm doing well. There we go. Nice early army losses. And we only took one casualty, and Nakari took a little bit of damage, but we should fully recover by the next fight. Who do you think is the best Warriors of Chaos faction? Bellacor. 
Give us your worst prediction. Oh, okay, worst prediction. Um, it'll be the Space Marines. There you go. Are you going to do a tier list of all races now that Chaos Dwarfs are out? Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't have things planned in advance these days. I've tried everything, I still don't get notifications pop up for these. Kind of annoying. Oh yeah, I should probably tweet. So, people know that I'm actually live streaming. Because, yeah, you're right, notifications won't go out to everyone. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. How much movement did I have left? Ooh. I don't know. I don't want to loot and occupy. I don't want a revolt to occur. We'll just occupy it. We'll be fine. we got money. Not much, actually. We make money from ports, don't we? Yeah, not heaps, but... It's better than nothing. Alright, so this is going to recruit for us. Okay. Alright, I think I want... I think I want demonets. Yeah. A little bit on the expensive side, but that's okay. Uh, Jack did a 5 dollar super chat. Thoughts on Mirror of Sadness? Mirror of Madness? Eh. Just... Not not personally interested in it, but it's not a bad game mode. Sergey became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Thanks for the chat, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, now... Oh, whoops, what happened there? Oh, Teapot Tom. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. That's uh, okay. So we want to recruit a new Lord, it will increase our supply lines. But having somebody just follow around Nakari to get leveled up could be really good. This guy here will gain experience really quickly, because it could be good to have a demon prince. I will be yeah. The Tempter Lord. It'll also massively help us out with sieges when we have got them on steeds. Because you guys see what we can do with sieges. Massive oversight. Alright, then let's get campaign movement range there. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. Alright, Shrine of Kurnos. We're definitely going to need money. We also need growth. We're also going to need public order. Um, I, do I want to sacrifice? No, I don't want to do any of that stuff just yet. Need my devotees. Okay, so this will give us a bit of money. No, that's going to cause problems. That'll give us growth. Growth is not really a huge issue with Nakari. I think right now we should go with money. Let's just focus on like full conquest of Wolfwine and not worry too much about about growth right now. Could be good. Hmm. I kind of feel like reducing construction costs by 15% is really going to help us a lot in the early game, but then again, so would growth. I think what I'll do is I'll go with Grateful Enslavement first, and then I'll do Aberrant Promiscuity. Uh, Patrick Mulligan did a $2.20 super chat. I find your choice of campaign today delicious. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you do. Uh, that'd actually be quite useful, because I didn't take much damage, did I? Every sensation is mine to yeah, we still recover fully, and that way... Ooh, I can pop a disciple army already. But... We should wait, because that's all my d devotees. I don't want to do that just yet. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Let me see if I can do some diplomacy. 
Nah, I don't diplomacy Royal with them. Servant. No. What? Defend oh yeah, um... What's her name? Marathi. Yes. Marathi will listen to your plea. Okay. Such delight. Yeah, she'll take out Sildred Tor, so that doesn't mean anything. Let's hear it. Alright, good. That's a start. Start with relations with, uh... With Marathi. Alright, let's move on. Are you... Also sad that a sweet potato didn't get ratten by you today. What? Is it legal to have an emu as a pet in Australia? I actually have no idea. Probably not. Don't know why you would want to do that. Helgen, have you heard about the patch that's coming next week? I've heard that a patch is coming. I don't know the details of it. How do you deal with dwarf copters as chaos? Um, really shouldn't be a big concern. You can probably just ignore them. Uh, RG Damien did a 10 pound super chat. Loving these live streams. Always enjoying watching your content. Here's to a good stream. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the super chat. Yeah, look, if there's a unit that is giving you trouble, the best thing to do is, rather than like banging your head up, like trying to figure out how to beat it, just ignore it and take out every other unit. So just try to army loss it. That's usually what I do whenever there's a unit that is particularly troublesome. Uh, Patrick Mulligan did a five dollars fifty super chat. You profess yourself as Zinchian and appear like a Nerglite, but deep down you are Slaneshite, Slanesh Knight. Azazel and Sigvald streams in the near future. I uh, don't know. Thanks, super chat. Yeah, so I didn't have a chance to recruit anything. You come over. Stalkers of the night. And let's go. Baba Dewey did a 5 euro super chat. Valley of Defeat? Hang on. Uh, hey Legend, big fan of your channel for a while. I'm a fan of Nurgle, but he's pretty weak in the game. How would you fix their faction? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you'd, they would need a complete overhaul. But yeah, I do feel like they are pretty weak. Probably the weakest faction in the game. Thanks for super chat. Do I want to seduce something? Because their forces... They've got more forces than us. It'd be pretty embarrassing to lose this for this battle here. The fast unit is definitely appealing to take. What's the map look like? Yeah. Hang on. Are there trees? Yeah. Okay, I think I want this one. Does your game start lagging after turn 50? Uh, it does lag here and there, yeah. I went and got rid of like 90% of all the save files that I had because people were saying that it causes huge lags and I did notice an, a, um, a performance improvement. So I think I went from like 230 save files down to 30. Maybe even less than that. Alright, well I can hide my dudes over here. Obviously Nakari can't hide. Can you hide? No. Can you hide? Yep. Can you hide? Yep. Can you hide? Yep. Okay, so that means these two here can't hide. Put them on the other side over here. Make it seem like we're attacking from over here, but actually... Hmm. Yeah, go. Just climb up. Just climb up the walls. Go, go, go. Yeah, 
no one faster. Yeah, you, you stay away, you're not going to be no much use here. Hmm. Yeah, they, they shoot us really well from there, don't they? I'll have to go into a different one. Yeah, you just get back. Go to a different spot. Because, yeah, if I stand underneath here, they can actually shoot us. It's kind of annoying. But, it's alright. By hiding all of our units in the forest like this, they didn't have anyone set up on the gates, so we didn't get shot on the approach. Also, I find that they, they leave their units in the back of their settlements a fair bit these days. And then they bring them all to the front, and then you just run right past them and go to their capture point. Do you think Chaos Dwarves are unique in their ability to snowball? I'm on turn 70 and very hard very hard and already bored because of Autofactions stand no chance. Uh, no, I do not think that at all. There are many factions that snowball. In fact, there are very few factions that don't snowball. I'm going to bring him around over here. Do it properly. Okay, my dudes, come in. Can I swear for the sweet potato comment? You don't need to apologize for it. It was just not funny, that's all. <laughs> it just it was it just wasn't funny. Sorry. These fast units here, let's see if we can cap a point as quickly as possible. Where the hell are all their troops? Uh, Will Ferret did a $10 super chat. Love the gameplay, and maybe too spicy question, but if you could change one popular view or misconception about Total Warhammer you still see online, what would it be? Uh, that flanking matters. <laughs> it doesn't. Flanking doesn't do very much. I don't know. I don't know if that's much of a misconception. Silly, silly question. I don't know. Uh, Yo Squiggly did two dollars budget. Which factions will you diplomacy with early game? Um, probably uh, Marathi. Yeah, mostly Marathi, I think. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, here they come. Alright, now I definitely saw archers in that group, so I'm actually going to move back here. Because we're still not over the walls properly yet. If we get into a blob, that'll be really good for their archers to shoot us, which we don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is send them on wild goose chases, chasing after these units while I cap their points really quick. Come on, hurry up, Nakari. So long. I think it's this one here that did it. Yeah. Alright. I want you to go take out that archer, Nakari. You go with them. You'll catch up. Uh, Malqua. Choir. Did a $10 super chat. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thank you. Alright, try to draw them down this way so I can flank them. But you just said flank. <laughs> It's not like flanking is useless. It's just, I think it's one of the most overrated uh, techniques to use in this game. It's just, it's not overly powerful. Even devastating flank, it doesn't really do that much. Compared to other techniques that you can do. Alright, 
Is Vigor important in the game? It is, but you shouldn't do, like... You shouldn't try to remain high in Vigor at all costs. You know, sitting there trying to recover your Vigor constantly is a, usually a bad choice. Running around is way better than walking everywhere. You definitely don't want to walk anywhere. Because here's the thing about Vigor. It does lower your combat stats quite significantly. But units that get into melee will typically lose their Vigor super quick. Unless they're like perfect Vigor anyway. So running around doesn't actually cause that much Vigor loss. Alright, I'm just going to chuck this one into combat because I don't care about it. It's not my unit anyway. Alright, only melee units here. Uh, just, just keep them pinned down here. I'm just going to run through. Yeah, you guys come down over this way, and the archers there. Come in, Akari, move it. This guys here shooting the crap out of me. Move! Come on! Let's go. Just stay there staring at them, that's fine. There's no need to kill them. We've got a clear shot into the uh, town square, and there's only archers in our way, and all of our fast units are here. So... Yeah, there's just no need. If they want to come at us, we'll stop them, but just stay there. up in here. And that's sometimes really good to just have like a big portion of their army just staring at you while you go and capture their most important capture zones. Stalking. Do it on these ones here. Man, they really focused on the Kari in this battle. That's okay, we got this. What's your opinion on Celestia? She roster? It's alright. Nothing spectacular, I think. Damn it. Got this. Why do you prefer streaming on YouTube rather than Twitch? Because I'm a YouTuber, not a Twitch show. Who's shooting at us? Upside of damage, but the army itself is fine.
Ever played Warhammer 40k Battle Sector? No, I haven't played it. Hey, Legion, do you, do you enjoy the lore of Warhammer at all? You never seem to talk about it. If yes, what are some of your favorite bits? Um, yeah, I, I do read up on the lore. Um, I'm not a lore channel, so I don't really talk about it that much. It's not what I focus on. I much more fo prefer to focus on the uh, gameplay. But yes, I do like it. Uh, that's pretty tasty. Subjugating them for extra devotees is also pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna sack it. Yeah, I'm not going to subjugate them today. Uh, get rid of that. We don't want public order problems too severe at the moment. And yet, repair that. That's okay. And let's put in for... Revel in the eternal pleasure. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now this guy here... If we stand right, we should be able to launch the attack on Mistnar next turn. Assuming they don't declare war on us. And Nakari should be able to force march there. Unless I'm mistaken. Because, yeah, I don't want to subjugate these guys either. Drink in my excellence. Hmm. What do we need? I need, need missile resistance. Or some armor. Oh, he's got thick skinned. We could essentially double his armor. Thing is, 15's not heaps. Foe Seeker. Yeah, let's make him a better fighter. I'm going to give him some more melee defense. Yeah, because he's always taking so much damage. Oh, my master. Okay, yep. Build this. Yep. Pleasure hunt. It's not too bad. No, I, I want to save up my devotees for now. Okay, let's see if there's any diplomacy to do, and let's move on. Nope. Your request? What? Look. Druki nobility. Oh. oh, 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 oh Speak. Okay. Okay. Before I change my hmm. mind. The um, uh, Marathi won't be too ha happy that I did that, but it's an easy grand. Okay, she's also at war with the shadow warrior. I'm losing interest in this already. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> That's not bad at all. That royally screws over Marathi though. Yeah, that's he re requires me to do that. Done deal. For Nagaroth. Damn. That is a done deal. Marathi. Oh, she doesn't even care. Nice. She didn't even care. And vassal tribute. Three hundred twenty-eight. Not bad. Man, that royally screws over Marathi. <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Like that might backfire on us. All right. All right, let's move on. 
Uh, do I want another lord? Yeah, I do. Well, I do like having a lot of these guys hanging around. Evil eyeball. Okay, whatever. Uh, what about a herald of Slanesh? Mm -hmm. Kind of want to get some demon princes first. Alright, let's move on. Are you going to play the upcoming CA FPS game? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> have you played Age of Wonders 4 yet, or have any interest in it? Uh, mild interest, but I haven't played no it yet. Oh, Nakari can actually make it there without this guy. Oh, well, good. Oh, yeah, because we got this one. Okay. Alright, well, that's fine. Yeah, maybe we could sack it. Sack value is... decent. Mmm, this is interesting. Okay. Marathi will hear your insignificant plight. Such delights. Okay. Did that count as diplomacy yes. with a Slanishi faction? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Cruel and deadly. We've also got the Scourge of Cain faction over here, which Alariel usually beats the crap out of very quickly. We could potentially Share your make them a vassal. I'm listening. Potentially. Or at least just get some money out of them until... Oh, hang on. I'll tell you what you want to do. You want to do these, these deals one at a time. Yes. Yeah. Skeggy. Speak. <laughs> okay. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Yeah, I do that. That counts as one diplomatic deal. That counts as a diplomatic deal. <laughs> Look at what we're getting already. And then the relations improving, so that'll that'll improve things. Uh, then there's also bleak holds, which Words have the power to wound. I could pay them some money, but I think just wait. IG did an MX sixty five dollar super chat. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, let's I'm declare war on this one here. Words and then get out of my sight. Drink in my excellence. Alright, now in this coming battle, we should really try to make sure that Nakari doesn't take that much damage. Really? Oh, it's a minor cinema battle, right. I think he doesn't have to force march if he wants to arrive. Uh, Georges Frank Frankwe did a ten dollar super chat. Big fan of your content. You are what got me into the Warhammer series. I I appreciate all that you do to keep the player base invested and growing. May Nurgle forever bless your manscaped sack. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for the support. Appreciate the super chat. So yeah, we want money, don't we? Yeah, given the situation, I think money. Hang on, what about what about this? Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. We'll get some devotee, well, one devotee per turn. But I'll be able to sell off the fur bundles. Let's see, ten fur bundles will be worth one hundred and twenty. So we would make more money technically by. Well, yeah, because the public order is going to go to minus 50. But... Yeah, let's just go with that. That's fine. 
Is that cheaper to build as well? Yeah, it's cheaper. Even the lawmaster could not. Break their soul. Yeah, definitely don't want to auto resolve this. All right, should we seduce something? Because yeah, it's a minor settlement siege. Which faction would you recommend as someone to start with if they are bad at RTS component? Look, if you're bad at RTS, that just means you're not practiced enough. You're not. Nobody is naturally good or bad at anything uh, to do with games. It just comes down to practice. So play what you find fun, and then you will just get better at it. Taking this speedy unit again could be fairly useful. How are we going for money? Let me just check. I didn't see much cash we got left. I know I just stole a lot of money from the Dark Elves, but let me just check. Okay, I got six grand. Because Nakari's in bad shape in this battle. And also, if we want to fight them again next turn, I can't have my army destroyed in this fight. And minor settlement sieges are a lot more difficult than major settlement sieges since you have to cap all the points, and there's also a lot of units. So if I took an archer unit, that's a thousand. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take this one again. Is it just me, or do demon factions just don't make almost any money? They're definitely not the richest factions in the game, for sure. Yeah, their strength lies heavier on their, like, campaign mechanics, and getting, like, lots of stuff for free. They don't, they don't make loads of money. None of them do. See if Marathi will join the war? No, she probably won't. Doesn't it wouldn't make any difference if she did anyway. Okay. So how are we going to go about this without taking loads of casualties? I reckon using our two other lords over here can be very useful. Because Nakari's taking a lot of damage, so I probably want to avoid fighting too much with him. I'm going to move back a little bit here to begin with. Are you on horseback now? Yes, okay, that's good. That's good. I can, I can work with that. Alright. So I'm just going to mess with them a little bit with some magic while we wait for our reinforcements to come in. Is it a good to use every time the seduce enemy? Depends on the situation. It is an ability that you can use. It comes with a cost, which is money, so it's entirely up to you. But yeah, using Seduce on an enemy that you're going to stomp doesn't make any sense. See, in this situation here, I really want to take minimal casualties so I can take their capital next turn. Whereas if I take a lot of damage, I may not be able to push my advantage. Which is not what I want. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my my reinforcements to come in, because I think they're going to be the key to victory. Uh, we're going to win no matter what, but what I mean by key to victory, key to a, a good victory. Because I don't want to take too much damage, because we've got a bit of a fight coming up next time. Onward. Power of 
It's not like we're doing nothing here. Fair bit of ammunition is being wasted. Problem is they're getting it, getting some time to build towers. And I know a lot of people like panic when they see towers, but they're not really that big of a concern. The AI will mostly just build tier 1 towers, which is not a huge deal. Okay, here they come. Bring them in. Now, I think they're on foot at the moment. Yeah, so it's going to take them a moment to get here. Doesn't Nakari heal by himself? Eventually. But at the moment... No. No, eventually, he does eventually get an ability that heals. But I don't have it yet. i got to get him leveled up. Formation. Moving. This will do. Okay, here they come. We are in agreement. Here they come. Alright, now these ones here. Alright, you go around this way. Time to move. You stay out of this fight. You go around this way. So it doesn't matter if this one here gets wiped out, because it's an enemy unit. Now, because on very hard battle difficulty, we know that the Chaos Lords will not get shot by their archers. So we just send them into melee. They're super heavily armored. We can just send them in to pin them all down. Once they're pinned down, then we can send in the the infantry so we don't get shot to shit. These ones over here, if they could just go and like capture some stuff, that'd be really useful. But I think as far as Nakari is concerned, we should keep him out of the rest of this fight. What would you rate the lore of Hashut? Uh, pretty high, I guess. I wasn't too fond of it to begin with, but I'm I'm definitely warming up to it for sure. It's very suitable for the Chaos Dwarfs. Because yeah, these towers have like no chance of hitting them. This is why I steal this unit, because it's their fastest unit. All their troops now are really slow. They're just not going to be able to keep up with us. And that's the biggest strength of Slanesh, having speed. So you just take away your opponent's speed, and they just can't do much about it. Yeah, these guys over here, they're just going to absolutely slaughter the Lothan Sea Guard, I think. Oh, look at that. They've blocked us off completely. Mm. Lord of Excess. Lord of Slanash. Torture sweet kiss. Alright, decent blobs forming up over there. Let's get Nakari over and cast a spell or two. Yeah, that's what I want them to do. Just tie them down while we go and capture some points around here. Oh, there's their lord over this way. Good. Alright, get in there. Ooh, it took some damage. Why don't you edit or hire an editor your streams into 30 minute hour videos and upload them? Because I don't feel like that would actually add any value to the channel whatsoever. And I don't really want to hire an editor. Seems like it's more effort than it's worth. Alright, 
This will do. Tasmagoria. The party moves. Bring us our joyous degradation. Move it. Strive. Go. We are in agreement. Charge. By the hell, boys. I shall dance. Good. You have. Let's get you out of that. How are we going over here? Good, you capped that. Get over here. Yeah, these Chaos Lords are really good at just sitting there tanking their units. They've just got. Look, they've even got their missile units in there now. Let's come over this way. This way. That's it. Shoot that one. Because I don't care about it. It's not my unit. Yeah, you gotta fight that one, I think. Try to hit and run if possible. Your desires are mine. Okay, okay, hang on. By the hell forged. Move. Faster. Unleash my power. Move it. Alright, move that back. Alright, we've got a fair few of these points now. I think I'm out of magic. Alright, time to all that attack. Just wait a little bit longer. A little bit longer. We got a good thing going here. These guys are fine. Around at that point over there, that'd be good. I've got to go all the way around this way. I'm not going to be able to get through that. Try to avoid the spearmen, obviously. Can't even beat a bloody wizard. Charge bonus. Uh, okay. They're actually blocking their own. Oh, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to be able to get in there. Alright, come up this way. Help out with this. Ah, oh, damn it, that got blocked off. Mm, it's mostly spearmen left. Okay, that means time to send in the the melee forces. I'm not sure what to do with them now. Okay, I can see what I can do. If I can squeeze through here, we can recap that point and maybe squeeze in through this way. Although, I think the army losses is due really soon. But you can see how much harder I had to work on this battle than I did in a walled city siege. I had to work so much harder in this fight. To, you know, to walk out of this without much damage. Because of the systems that are in place for minor city battles. Okay, 
we go. Yeah, you don't matter, go die. Good, just one point left to cap and it's over. Do you think the Stalk upgrade on the Taurus stack from today would have been any good? Turning it into a sort of hit and run stack with barrier regen and Stalk? Um, not really. I don't think that they need Stalk. Do you know if Woodsman also removes combat penalty in Forest like Strider? I think it does. But I don't think there's any cavalry units that have Woodsman, which are the only ones that suffer penalties from it, like any large units. I'm just not sure about that one. Why am I pink? All right, look, because I've got a I've got a um filter on that's making me look this way. This is what it normally looks like. Okay. <laughs> Corrupted by Slanesh today. Ooh. Oh, spicy. That's a decent amount of money. I'm gonna sack it. The gods are watching. Lord of Slanesh, pleasure through pain. There we go. Yes, I can. I'll make of this place a temple of pleasure. Okay. We're not going to be able to get demonets from here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get those. That's all I can do. No, never. Uh, if I repair it, I'm taking away all the money that I got from sacking it. It will repair on its own over time. Because, like, if I repair this, it'll be worth 50 extra gold. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay, okay, okay. These... These Chaos Lords of Slanesh have so far proven themselves pretty damn useful. I don't know if I want to get another one. It would actually make me go in the red. Alright, let's have a look in the car. Another two levels up for him. That's good. Supple and Spry. Yeah. I reckon these hates, various faction ones, are absolutely terrible. Just terrible abilities. And yeah, I want Nakari stronger. How delightful. Get rid of that. Other buildings that we can get more value out of. Alright, now these guys here. I want them just to be good in melee. They're essentially just part of the army. Okay, let's have a look and see if there's any more diplomacy we can do. Nagaroth warrior. Yeah. Welcome to the Black Court. As okay, order. that's good. What would you have of me? Dominate. Feared by armor. Oh, we have a cult at um, White Tower of Hoeth. All right, this this is what it is. If I demolish it, I will get back 150 of those. Okay. I don't I don't really want this cult here, and I would really like to get those devotees. Because I'm not going to subjugate 
Safari. I'm going to kill them. That's if uh, Tyrion and this one here doesn't do it first. But uh, we don't have to do it right now. I'll just leave it for now. Okay. All right, I think that's all I can do. Let's move on. And we got a bit of a fight ahead of us here. So, yeah, let's, let's get another Chaos Lord. <laughs> it's going to put us in the red a little bit. But we do have a fair bit of reserve money. So we should be okay. Because these guys here, they did take a fair bit of damage. I'm actually going to steal that item if you don't mind. Thank you very much. It's crap though. Alright, let's move on. Are you crashing a lot this patch? I have noticed a fair few crashes, yes. Why not going down the magic line? Uh, because I want to make Nakari faster. Have you checked out or even heard of Age of Wonders 4? The new 4X game for Paradox? I have heard about it. I've seen it. I'm not interested. Well, I'm mildly interested. But I'm not that interested. <laughs> the mortal realm is my Alright, it's good that they left the dude out over here. That way we can turn it into a field battle, which... Would that be easier though? Would it? Well, there's a large force here. I could probably kill that before they even get a chance to get Impossible. on the battlefield. No. It's a good way to get more devotees. Yeah, yeah, alright, let's do it. Moving out, Lord of Slavish. March with the Prince of Chaos. Just gotta be careful though with this battle. Oh, good, he's on horseback now. That's that's really good. Uh, Rex Teresia did a 15 MYR super chat. Azrae Glade Captain has a skill that gives Cavalry Strider, but they already have Woodsman, so I don't know if it's redundancy or Woodsman still has penalty. I have no idea. Maybe. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, though. Appreciate it. Ambush bait? Nah, that's the bitch way to do it. Hang on. Pleasure seeker. Yeah, I want you to have high melee defense. Slave to your gifts. Bring ruin. <laughs> okay, they're standing and fighting. Oof, no, definitely not. Should I borrow this unit again? Let's strip away their speed. So it'll take them two minutes to come in. We could essentially just be parked at their reinforcement spot if we move quickly enough. Which point, do I even really need that unit? No. Okay, I'm not going to seduce anything. Let's go. Simon. Stephenson did a 50 SEK super chat. Hey legend, followed you for years now. I just watched your Rift Breaker live. Any plans to do another one of these chill streams? Peace and love. Uh, no plans at this stage. But uh, thanks for the super chat. I really like Rift Breaker though. Uh, in my last campaign, I saw the unthinkable. I saw a Bellacore get destroyed and occupied by Talson. What elves are so aggro? Were they possibly the endgame crisis? Because yeah, that is weird. Either that or it was like turn 200 or something. An ecumenical matter did a $25 super chat. Hey, Legend, does the trespassing warning need the other faction to be in your territory for two consecutive turns, or a total of two turns to allow you to declare war without taking reliability penalty? Thanks, super chat. That's a very good question. That mechanic is completely bugged. It does absolutely nothing. All it, all the um, give a warning about trespassing does is give you a diplomatic malice with them. If you have a non-aggression pact or a trade agreement or any other packs with that cat with that faction and you give them a trespassing warning and they stay in your territory for two turns or three turns or four turns and the game says that they are trespassing and you declare war on them you will still take a reliability penalty that mechanic is a hundred percent bugged don't use it it's just bugged it's a great idea but it does it just doesn't work at all 
I've tested it out extensively and it never works. It's bugged. But yeah, it's a good question. Never works. Alright. Alright, they're coming in a little bit faster than what it said they would. So I'm just going to kill this one and then move back. Because we, we also want to run them down. So if we park over here, then I'm not going to be able to run them down. Maybe I should have taken their Illyrian Reaver. Alright, we don't have long. Damn it, I was hoping I could dodge that. Ooh, Slanesh sandwich, motherfucker. Who got the damage? Ugh. No one faster. Oh, did. And Akari, don't knock her down. Just smack her. That's it. Should we do this? Stop knocking them down. Deep shit. God, the knockdown effects in this game. Uh, Will Ferret did a $10 super chat. Uh, no annoying pressure for me this time. Just have a great stream. I'll be sure to show this stream to some friends whom I've heard complain that Kari is too difficult for them. All right, no worries, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it really does depend with that. Hey, Teapot Tom and their viewers uh, just joined. Say hello. Hey, Teapot Tom. How's it going, dude? I said no. Come on. Come on, one more hit. Is it dead? Is it dead? Is it dead? No, come on, one more hit. One more hit. I gotta get in the curry. Okay, dead. Get out of there. Get out, get out, get out. Of there. Too many archers. Go, go, go. Uh, 3.0 patch allows knockdowns to still do damage. No, it was in notes. Uh, it definitely does not. Definitely does not. <laughs> nope. No, it's still the same as it always was. Those notes are wrong. I think. Oh, that is some nice blob. What if I whip it? Whip it good. Yeah, so the thing about Nakari is that he is it can be a very difficult faction to play as. Like you might watch me and see me smash them and be like, oh yeah, it looks easy. But if you don't have good micro skill, this can be a it can be a rough campaign. What are they doing? <laughs> They're like, whip me, daddy! Whip me good. You're exploiting the AI! Yeah, let's do let's go even one further and get them to shoot their own troops. Yeah, look ah! <laughs> Uh, Ace the Great did a final submission. Hey, Legion, thanks for the stream. Nakari is one of my favorite legendary lords, so I'm glad to see you cover Shem again. All right, no worries. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, 
by the hellboards. Power of Slanders! God damn, this AI is dumb. Move. Strive. No one faster. Move it. I shall dance. I shall act this. Yeah, they're still kind of shooting their own troops a bit. This will do. Onward. Go. By the hell forge. No one faster. Move it. Tesmagoria. Charge. Alright, so we've done 57,000 damage to this huge spearman blob here. Onward. He's also doing passive damage because they're wavering. Because of this ability here. Essentially a mortis engine. While they're wavering. Because we did kill the enemy lord. We are in agreement. I shall dance. Move. The party moves. Onward. Charge. Go. Strive. No one faster. I shall dance. The party moves. Oh, look at that. Mass routing coming here. Man, I thought I was actually going to have to use my army in this battle. <laughs> yeah, they're shooting their own troops. <laughs> they are definitely killing their own troops quite a lot. I can't stay here forever. Alright, let's start drawing them into the center of the map so that when they get the army losses, we can actually run them down. But yeah, this battle's a foregone conclusion now. They're so screwed. Alright, all we need to do now is big ol' rush at them. Just draw them in over this way. Okay, Makari's taking a lot of damage. He can rest after doing 71,000 damage and all of the friendly fire damage that was done as well. So what I'm doing here is just tr luring them into the center of the map so that when the army losses come in, they don't just run off because we're quite quick. We want to run them down. The AI is a joke sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, they should be coming over here. What's going on? What you doing? Coming to the center, into my trap. Oh yeah, they're coming. Oh yeah, they're coming. Look at this formation! Ah, oh, brilliant! Brilliant formation! Legend, stop picking on the AI! Creative Assembly do the best they can! Okay, guys, here's how we're gonna march. We're gonna march in one big fucking blob. What are they doing? Oh, they're spreading out now. <laughs> what are they doing? They're not leaving the battlefield. What, what are they doing? What, 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 what? what? I, don't, I just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, they won't shoot at this character. I got a little bit stuck there. Alright, that'll do. Ready? Let's go. 
Uh, Simon Stephenson did a 20 SEK Super Chat. Did AI do this in Warhammer 2? I think not. Uh, I, the AI would definitely screwed up in Warhammer 2, but I don't think to like this kind of massive extent. What the hell is that shooting at? <laughs> Whatever. I saw a bird! Pin down their archers. Oh. oh, maybe that's what they were shooting at. Forgot he was over there. Good, and now we get to run them down for a little bit, which will give us more devotees. Assuming that's what I'm going to choose, which I probably will. How are we going here? Yep, smash her as best you can. If you can kill her, that'd be even better. Legend, would you do a co-op campaign with other YouTuber again? Uh, I'm not opposed to it. The the right... It's not something that I'm working towards, necessarily. Thoughts on Age of Wonders 4? My thoughts are I wish people would stop asking me about it. I haven't played it. This is Legend of Total War here, not Legend of Total Age of Wonders. It looks like a great game, but I'm, I'm not playing it. Uh, happy to catch you live. I want to ask you, how can I be better at using melee glass cannon armies? Units get stuck all the time, so I tend to fumble every engagement. Just takes practice. Just, you know, do something, and if it doesn't work, don't do it again. This <laughs> sort of thing. Um, trial and error is the best way to learn how to play this game. Also, it's really, really important. If you want to get good at this game... Avoid fucking game guides, alright? This this is the kind of game that if you follow game guides, you will never be great at this game. Never, never, never. Okay? If you follow rigid patterns of, of this, you should move your army in this way, or you should use a unit against this unit, if you do that, you will never be great at this game. Okay? Avoid rigid thought patterns. Look at what the AI is doing, and look at what you're doing. Always attack the enemy's behavior. Don't worry about what units you've got, what units they've got. Attack their behavior. And you just have to assess what they're doing. Oh yeah, I think I will take those devotees. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I could... Proliferate some cults. Thing is, if I had researched not that one, that one there, I could drop it down cost by 25%. Because it's pretty expensive at the moment. Because all the. Yeah, I think I'll hold off. I'll hold off. 
The thing is, if I can get some some um, cultists around the place, that can be really great for getting devotees as well. Hmm. Ah, screw it. I'll get more. All right. Where where they go? Well, thanks for the notifications. Okay, iron spike. Uh, okay. So, I wanted to do... Yeah, this will give us a cultist immediately. Oh, okay, maybe... I'm only going to be able to build one. Let's see what would be the best one. Grunberg. Yeah, let's do it here. Some leveling up to do. Can we auto resolve this battle? Uh, we could. I think we'll be better off manually resolving because I think Nakari is going to take a lot of damage in that auto resolve. And <laughs> let me just see here. The agony. Slave to your gifts, Lord of Slanesh. Yes, I desire it. True gift of Slanesh. Oh, didn't get as much experience as I thought I did in the battle. Alright. I think I know what I'm going to do in this battle. I don't want to take any casualties, so I think I know what I'm going to do. What's your top three most difficult Total War campaigns? Do you mean uh, campaigns in Warhammer 3 or m the most difficult campaigns across all Total War games? You build the cult in Iron Spike? Okay, well, I'll just cancel that then. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, I'm just going to stand back here and wait for reinforcements to show up. Let's see, they're coming in from over this way. I'm going to stand here, because I can't hide. So they'll deploy over this way. Just waiting for these guys here to come in. The Beastie HD became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. I haven't played Wormer 3 yet. If I was best with Skaven, which faction should I play? Whatever you want. Skaven still play the same. More or less. Maybe a little bit weaker in Wormer 3 than they were in 2. Yeah, look... When deciding what faction to play, you should always play whatever you're most interested in. Play for fun, not whatever necessarily you're best at. Because the most important thing when playing this game is that you have to understand you are playing a game. You should try to have fun. So play what you're interested in. And I can't answer that for you. And I'm not going to answer that for you. Because what if I say, oh yeah, play a Zinch, and you end up hating Zinch. And then you'll go... I let you guys end up hating up Zinch. It's like you got to make up your own damn decisions. It's like it's the eternal battle that I have with being on YouTube and trying to get people to actually think for themselves. I get that they want suggestions, but you've you've got to make these decisions for yourself. You know, things like what should I play or what game should I get or. Which Total War game is best? You have to make these decisions for yourself. I can't decide this for you.
Oh man, they blocked me off. Um, yeah, you come in as well. I'm actually shooting at this guy here, despite him being on horseback. So I would send Nakari in as well, but he's he hasn't uh, been recovering very quickly, and they'll focus fire on him. So these guys here, they're not really able to do that so much. The good ones to get the summons on the uh, hero here. Okay, these two should stay away from them. Come down over this way. <laughs> They're trying to restore ammunition constantly. The AI is trying to exploit the game. It's well, at least that's what it looked like. I heard a rumor about you on the disc. People were saying you have a fat donk. No, no, no. I'm in Hammer Day, $2 super chat. Spit them facts, legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, I want to get around this. Thank you very much. Now, if we capture all the points simultaneously, we'll instantly win, or we'll win via taking the victory tickets. That's that's one of the big things with these um, walled sieges. The attacker has the advantage. <laughs> it's, it's weird. The defender doesn't actually have the advantage in this situation. The defender has to juggle so many bloody things, and the attacker's like, oh, I'm just going to go over here, or I'm going to go over there. Yeah, look, look, I captured all the points. <laughs> Siege rework my ass. Riley Oliver did a five dollar budget. Have you noticed better performance for monstrous units since the knockdown damage change? Fiends of Slanesh and Nurgle Frog seem to be better now. I have not noticed it, no. But thanks for Super Chat. Why did you pick no heralds since they became they can become exalted keepers of secrets? Yes, they can become exalted keepers of secrets, but these lords here can become demon princes. And also the early in the early game, these lords are very useful for these sieges, which I've just shown there. Uh, T Biddy ninety five did twenty dollars to Never watched the streams. I prefer to watch after they are posted. Came to thank you for the content. Have a good one. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Oh, 
No, I'll just occupy this one. No subjugation, don't need it. The Tempter Lord. Good, we got two guys on horseback now. That's what we want to see. Well, we want to see three. Get a little bit closer. No. Okay, well, I'm pretty much... I'm not broke, but I'm not making much money, and we're about to go and fight the Everest. They're stronger. Th we're stronger than them. Now, Everest, I will actually turn into a, a vassal. But what we want to do is capture Everest first. That's for me, and leave them with Trilinia. I don't think I need more troops. Are we going to be able to attack that next turn? Yeah, I will. Okay, these guys here. They're not going to be able to make it. Unless I force march to here. They're unlikely to declare war on me. And even if they do, if these guys die, whatever. This is a bit of a risk. Woo, risky boy. March for the Prince of Chaos. Risky boy. <laughs> oh, risky boy. My life for Tor Ifris. The Tempter Lord. I like taking risks. A gift from my master. Do you have any items on you? You do. I'll take that. Alright, uh, I'm not going to recruit anything this turn. We'll be fine. I don't think they'll declare war on me. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so public order over here is okay. We want to be in like the bad public order area because we want that extra money. Uh, let's see, we've got some... Yep, yeah, let's upgrade this. Do I want portal? Let me see. That one spreads it into adjacent provinces. This one provides more control. That's okay, we don't need control. But I want to spread... Corruption. Yeah, let's go with that option. And go with growth here. Yep. Yep, and go with that option there. Okay, and let's have a look at diplomacy. The cult building. Yep, absolutely right. We'll do that. Okay, now. Oh, I've got a non aggression pact with Safari. I'm listening. I won't be able to cancel that just yet. Noble born. Lord. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, we wanted this over at Grunberg. Yeah, we want a cultist over here. Start spreading our influence. We dedicate this carnal bloodshed to Slanesh. An artifact of beguiling blasphemy. A true gift. All right, let's move on. That loser did a two dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. If you want more cultists, look in the My Little Pony subreddit. Laugh my ass off. Okay. Yeah, they didn't declare war. I didn't think they would. Typically speaking, in the early stages of the campaign, they're not going to declare war on you. Just a heads up, I don't think you'll be able to recruit Mist Walker units if you subjugate your verse. Okay. <laughs> That's not why I'm going to subjugate them. I just don't like having, like, really useless vassals. Especially ones that'll cause me diplomatic problems with Chaos Factions, like Elves. But I want to vassalize Legendary Lords because they will produce loads of armies, which means I can borrow those armies. That battle is, the prize is not close. wanting to do Recover that right now. Sword before... every okay. Alright, 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 alright. So, the way we do this... Got all their force no here. Glory. Only service. 
The way we do this. Drink him, my excellence. Prince of pain. Pleasure through pain. Did that cult finish? Yes, there it is. Alright. And we want to start... Well, we need to get this one leveled up, because if we just do an agent action on this one here, only 43% chance of success, so that's not very good. So, if we start with producing a cult over here, this will at least give her a level up. A cult of pleasing perfection. Yeah. Speak. And then give her a specialist. So that'll increase her chances. And now we've got another cult over here, but of course I need more uh, devotees, which will just take time. Yeah, okay. I was kind of hoping that Eltharion would rush down over here, but he didn't do that. Negotiation with... What are you good swans? Give me that money. Alright. Alright, time to go fight Eltharion. Hunger for souls. Did I recruit last turn? No, I didn't, because of that's actually a hero. Okay, there we attack. Oh no, I think I made a boo-boo. I should have moved my heroes first. Oh no no, we should be Yeah no no, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Like, they'll still be able to reinforce. Now, Eltharion won't be there at the start. Okay, all three are coming in. Uh, I could have one of them attack Eltharion, and he might move out of the way. I think I will. Alright, he's gonna stand and fight. That's fine. The garrison is not gonna help him out. Nakari's. Okay, I, I think it's really important in this situation here not to kill him. Let him leave the battlefield because. What? Valiant defeat? Whatever. Go against the legendary lord. Because I want Nakari to get his defeat trait, I need that missile resistance on me so I don't get pricked in the bum so often. Which, if I fought the battle at the siege, Nakari would get the defeat trait. But he'll probably just rush over to the other settlement after losing this battle. Whatever, let's just, let's just do this. Uh, do I want to seduce anything? A lot of crappy cavalry. Lyrian Reaver archers might be a nuisance. Nah, we can, we can manage this. Don't forget he has the Warden's Cage. The AI never uses that um, very well. We'll try to get him to trigger it really early by rushing this guy over there. And just yeah, see if they'll put it on him. Enforcements and they'll just sit there and wait. Oh, they're actually gonna shoot at me with on my horseback? Oh, okay. Uh, that did a fair bit of damage. Hmm. 
one's arrived. Now, I think in this particular scenario, trying to cheese them is not going to work out too well for us because of Cavill's ability here. We don't want Nakari taking shitloads of damage again. But I also don't want my army getting wrecked right before the siege. So how are we going to go about this? What I could do is throw these guys into the center and pin down a whole bunch of their missile units, like over here. Yeah, he doesn't have that many missile units, mostly... Let's, let's get rid of the... Okay, it stopped shooting at us now. Because there's other units to shoot. Right, right, so they're not going to shoot at us now. Okay, well, hang on. If they're not going to shoot at us, then... Well, they'll shoot with magic. Okay, that's it. We've disrupted them. That's what I wanted to do. And rush. Rush, rush, rush. Go, go, go. Let's go now. Spamming spells on me. Damn cavil. That's it. What we're doing here with these guys, just keep them disrupted. Keep them in a blob. Yep, this is good. This is good. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh my god, look what they're doing to themselves. Oh my god, this is going to be a bloody slaughter. Look what they're allowing themselves to do. Stop that archer unit. Although this guy here is getting beat up pretty bad. Need to get him out of there. Oof, come on dude, get out of there. I think he might actually end up dead. Oh well, easy come, easy go. Nice blob you got there. Mind if I smack you? I could just get out of there. Luckily, they're not really focusing too much on him now. Anyone left behind? Okay, cool. This guy here is having a hard time now. Gotta get him out of there. Lovely blob. Stay out of it now. Charge! Faster! Onward! I need souls! Moving! Torture, sweet yes! The serpent strikes! Strive! No one faster! Death through sensation! Stupid lag. So keep attacking the archers back here. There's Eltharion. And we don't want to wound him in this battle. Damage him, sure, but don't wound him.
actually. Why don't we go kill Cavill? He's kind of more of a threat. Oh god, get him out of there. Get him out of there. Yeah, kill Cavill. Holy crap. The army losses should be any moment now. There it is. Cool. So let Eltharion get away, because I still need to get his defeat trait for Nakari. But yeah, kill Cavill. And kill off his army. Alright, damage was mostly concentrated on the heroes. We should be okay to push past the attack onto Ivaris. Why idle units in your screen aren't have any ZZ icon in their portrait? I turned it off because I didn't like it. It was distracting. I'm usually aware of what's going on in my army. I, I don't need this big ZZZ stuff happening over my uh, units. Yeah, you can turn that off in the settings. I don't think we're going to kill him. Oh, maybe. One more hit. Come on, Nakari, you can do it. Alright, cool. So we let Eltharion get away, but the rest of his army is practically destroyed. Do vassals give more value if you let them have more settlements? Well, they'll give you more money, but you'll make more money if you own the settlements anyway, so it's not really worth it. It depends on the situation. Like, if you want to have a very powerful faction in an area to defend a certain area, then maybe you want to give them more than one settlement. But I find vassals to be practically useless on legendary difficulty. All they do is give the AI, ex the, like, your enemies experience. They send, like, these massive armies and just get stomped and give give your opponents loads of experience. So I try to limit the amount that they do that. Okay, it's a good amount of devotees. However, some replenishment... No, I'll just go with devotees. Yeah. Those who deny Slanesh must die. In father's name, no. So it is most likely that he'll run over to Trilinia. I think. Unthinkable weakness. When his turn comes around. Alright. Let's have a look here. Hang on, I don't think he's done there yet. Oh, that's right. Here we go. Yeah, we want to get to... 
Which one is it? Harvester of Souls. That's the one that gives him regen. You made to slay. Lord of Slanesh. This isn't going to recover his health, no. This guy here is really badly damaged. I'm not going to be able to use him in this fight now. A mighty boom. Lord of Slanesh. This guy is fine. An artifact of beguiling blasphemy. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch these guys out with the new Chaos Lord. Because they're just too badly damaged, which means they're gonna go on foot. Ooh, unearthly reflexes, that's a nice one. That's better. And same thing with this guy here, it's just too badly damaged and I don't have any means of healing him. We can bring them back in a few turns. Okay, let's do this. Henry Cavill did a two dollar super chat. Appreciate you, Legend. Appreciate you too, dude. Thanks for the support. Okay. 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 And silver helms shouldn't be a problem to deal with. All right. Let's go. Chaos Lord better than the Demonette Lady? For what we're doing right here, yes. Because the Demonette Lady is really squishy, whereas these Chaos Lords of Slanesh, they're very tanky, which is what we want them for. Also, they don't crumble when they get down to like 25% health, whereas the Demonette Lord, the Heralds of Slanesh, when they take a little bit of damage, they, they start crumbling and then they're just dead. So they're very squishy. While I would like some um, Keeper of Secrets... At this stage of the game, these ones here are better. That's not the real Henry, is it? No, there's no way it's the real Henry Cavill. Okay. You know what's funny? The setup for this is very similar to the Cathay settlements although they're much bigger can i just i'm just curious can i get a reinforcements zone from back here no nah, it seems like ca thought about it <laughs> uh wouldn't that be funny yeah they thought about it okay that's fine all right how are we gonna go about this the towers aren't gonna be too powerful Nakari's not going to be able to do much in this battle. They'll just aim for him. Just wait for the reinforcements. Co-op campaign with Henry Cavill next. Yeah, look, if Henry Cavill wants to do a co-op campaign with me, more than happy to to accommodate that, for sure. Uh, but, big doubt that that will ever happen. Big doubt. Okay. Hmm. Those archers will shoot us if they're up on the wall. Yeah. But what we can do is the two guys on foot... We can get them to climb over the walls. <coughs> They'll lose their fatigue. We'll get tired, but that's okay. Let them recover their fatigue a little bit, although they're going to get pinned down pretty early on anyway. These towers aren't doing much to us. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, send these two to cap this point. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. This is what I wanted. They've drawn all the archers away from the gate. Now we can go and knock it down. Looks like we're going to have to fight some silver helms. Luckily, silver helms are rubbish against uh, Chaos Lords on foot. Well, they should be. Oh, look, there's the Warden's Cage. Okay, Nakari, get over here. We've got an opportunity to get him in here because there's not that many archers in this area. And they're all focusing over this way. Here we go. Sorry. That's it. Just keep him pinned down over there. That's working out well for us. Where's that lord? We're right over this way. Suck if Nakara gets killed. Luckily, we can withdraw within to the settlement if things go belly up, which it might. But need to move faster. Too big, Nakari. Two. Okay, just don't worry about that, Lord. Not important. Let's go cap this point up here. here. Oh, Add this one first, actually. No one faster. But see how tanky these characters are? The Keeping so many of their units just pinned down over there. Nakari is very weak to archers. Get him out of that. Uh, there's a point over here that we could go and cap. It's not gonna be bad for us. But yeah, don't don't tell me that knockdown is doing damage now. It absolutely is not. Like, we just knocked it down constantly. It just it isn't taking damage. So, that part of the, um, the patches was just an outright lie, as per usual. Here we go. Alright. These guys aren't going to hold out that much longer, so we need to try to conclude this battle as soon as possible. Is the Lorosalash any better than it was at launch or still pretty mid? Yeah, pretty mid. Some people really like it, but I don't think it's that good. Compared to other Lords of Magic, I think Shadow is way better. There's only four capture points in this settlement. <laughs> he has to stay away from the archers. I can't be sitting here dodging all day. All we're going to do is hold that a little bit longer. Stay away from those Phoenix Guard. That would be really bad for these two. Come on, move, move, move. Anyway, once one of them routes, they'll probably just forget about it anyway. Alright, I 
need Nakari to get over here. Try and stop this one. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we were so, so bloody close. There we go, we got it. <laughs> no casualties. Bit of damage, but no casualties. Nakari was not 100% HP at the start of the fight, right? Yeah, I, I don't think Nakari's been at 100% HP since the very first turn. Is it worth to attack small lords with defense towers if a unit is engaged with them? Only if there's no other unit to shoot at. The army's just there for the bounce about this point. Well... No, we need it for field battles. Like, we needed it against the battle against El Atharion. We, yeah, we absolutely needed the troops. Like, they're damaged. They are getting fight. We just didn't need them in the siege because the AI is so bad defending. Uh, Kai Wilcoxon did a 50 pound super chat. Just wanted to say thanks for the endless hours of entertainment you've given us over the years. It's not to see happy at work. Long may it last. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. Yeah, it's good to enjoy streaming again. Uh, just occupy it. Yeah, I want that missile resistance for Nakari. So I do have enough movement that I can come over here and smack him, but I really want Nakari to get that defeat trait. And if we have a look at this, we can reach... Trilinia next turn, assuming that he comes over here. He might also hang around over this way. It's really hard to say what exactly he's going to do. Slave to your gifts. Slave to your gifts. But yeah, our our two guys over here holding back the majority of the forces for that long. Really good. There we go. That'll get us back up to full strength next time we fight a battle. Yep, increase that mobility. Right, we're getting 10 gifts of Slanesh, right? Because of the faction leader of um, Kreis and Kothik, because they're technically not dead, as far as the game files are concerned, because they can be revived. So immortal characters that you give the gift of Slanesh to, even if you destroy their faction, they'll still give you gifts of Slanesh. In terms of growth, there's better buildings. Let's get rid of this. Do we want more marauders? Yeah, right. Let's, oh no, we're in the red. Let's just leave it. We've got plenty of money, but we've been doing well. Let's just leave it as it is. All right. We got some more devotees, so let's pop down another one of these here. That sounds good. Loyal servant. Tribesman. Feared by all. Oh no. Okay. I was just curious about that stuff. Alright, let's move on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Gotcha. No! You son of a bitch! No! Ah, no! I can't get his defeat traits from there. Um... Maybe I won't subjugate him.
I, he stood at a point where it makes me thinks it difficult to get him. Ooh, okay. 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 So here's an interesting thing. Here's an interesting thing. Um, if I occupy the settlement with one of these guys, I might actually have enough movement with Nakari to sail out here and grab him. Because, yeah, we definitely want that missile resistance. He's currently at 10%. The other option is to stay over here in, like, ambush stance and just wait for him to come back over here. And that way I can subjugate him. Hmm. And as I said before, subjugating high elves has a double-edged sword effect where if you subjugate a lot of high elf factions, all the other, like, demons of chaos, they hate you because of treaties with high elves. The other thing is, going after these guys is a priority. I need to go and smash these idiots. Hmm. Because it could be really good to borrow Eltharian's army at some point. Not Eltharian himself, but like a satellite army that he might have. But I really want his defeat trade. All right, let's let's try something. I'm gonna go into ambush dance down this way. Moving out. Yeah, I'm gonna go into ambush dance down here. Yeah, because if I go into ambush stance, I'll just keep Nakari there. Yeah, I'm. I think Eltharian, as long as we don't get detected. Close this way. He'll he'll sail back to Trilinia. I think. Hmm. So I really want that defeat trait, but I also really want to subjugate him. Why don't Eltharian just suicide to the nearest settlement if he took Trilinia? Just leave Nakari there. Yeah, but I want to subjugate him as well. I want both. Alright, if I put Nakari about here, next destination. I might also be able to launch the attack there next turn. Not also, but either or. See if that works. It, it really just depends on the chances of us getting detected. Alright, go with money. How are we going over here? Yep, just let that stuff's repairing over time. Okay, and over here we got ourselves another cultist. My divine master. If we keep doing hero actions, we should eventually get a item. A follower that's actually really good for hero actions. Yes, with vigor. By Sigma. Raise Sigma. They call to me. Forty-seven percent. That's basically zero percent. Chance of being wounded, six percent. More like sixty percent. You are in her. Failed. Yeah. Okay. As long as it wasn't critical failure. No act too unspeakable. No talk. Black hearted. Speak. Fear my. Doors are can't fly. You can only subjugate if you if they have no active armies and you take their last settlement. No, you. It's just the last settlement. They can have active armies. All right. All right. All right. All right. So. I'm sure your little message will be most interesting. As you yep. said. That's fine by me.
Alright. Let that play out, and we'll just see what he does. Yeah. Because there's no rush, we don't have to take these guys out straight away, but I also don't want to dilly-dally here for ages. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Yeah! Got him. Told you. We got him. Either I'm simply mistaken or that was changed at some point. You are mistaken. That has just never been a thing. Good. Getting some missile resistance for L, uh, for Nakari is so useful because that's what that's the majority of the stuff that's doing damage to us. Is missile attacks. You're lucky. Alariel hasn't declared war on you yet. Uh, well, it's only turn seven. Considering I'm probably going to use a demon army for this, leadership plus six would be pretty useful. Let's go with that. That way they're not going to disintegrate. Drink in my excellence. Alright, well we can't do both. I probably won't be able to bring these guys in because Eltharian's going to block it. And if I attack him... Uh... Path of excess. Oh man, I'm going to be cutting that close if that happens. Trilinia's zone of control is all throughout here. Yeah, I think we'll be fine to do this. I think he'll run back to here, but we'll still catch him. Oh, no, he wants to stand and fight. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Alright, this time we can wound him. Yep, just go straight in for it. Plus six leadership lord's army on a hero. I forgot that's going to be bugged. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's going to be bugged. Oh, this game's got so many bugs in it. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. It's probably bugged. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. God, this game is so full of bugs. It's like a bloody minefield of stuff that's just broken. It doesn't work. I'll, I'll double check after the battle's over to see if that is actually happening. Alright, we want to go and rush Eltharian right away. Oh, fuck's sake. No one faster. And when Eltharian gets wounded, it'll replenish um, Nakari's health. I'm 
Here we go. Got him. Uh. I'm not sure. Keep chasing after them. Although they'll just die to his uh, soul siphon. I'll wait for reinforcements. Good. Steal their soul. Nice. But it's nice to get um, Nakari back up to pretty much the most health he's had since the beginning of the campaign. This one, let it recover a little bit. Forget to run them down. Okay, army losses any moment now. Uh, Zivot Laj. Oh man, I can't be able to pronounce that. Did a 49 CZK super chat. Love you, bro. Thanks again for birthday wishes. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Jesse Monium became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thanks for becoming a member. Oh, come on. Oh. oh well, I'll kill her later. So you have a known list, issues list that is ever growing right now. Yeah, it's a very long list and they're not really taking it down much. Uh, what is the most elite muffin flavor? Butt muffin. There you go. What's a good doom stack for this faction? I don't think this faction makes good doom stacks. Alright, what do 
I want. Bit of replenishment or devotees. Then we'll go with devotees. Dawnstone, that'll be good. Physical resistance. Oh, he's already got a talisman of endurance. Yeah, you're right. Look, Lord's army. Oh my god. Okay, so we can test this out by... Yeah, let's just besiege this. Okay, we can see that our leadership is 70, right? With that unit. So we've got disciplined. So that provides leadership plus two. So, okay, looking at this particular unit here with two experience, 69 leadership. So if I take it out, it should go to 67, right? If it's bugged. Bugged! Fuck! It's useless. <laughs> it's, it's completely useless. It is not providing six leadership. But yeah, it's bugged. Son of a bitch! <laughs> bugged! Doesn't work on heroes, yeah. Doesn't... Completely useless. Uh, Zivot... Did a CZK129 Subitat. I'm joining now. Is there any reason you stopped streaming? <laughs> uh, it was just taking a toll on me. It's just, yeah, live streaming like five times, or five or six times a week. The graveyard shift took a massive toll. It was just, it was, yeah, I just needed a break. Uh, okay, Nakari, what are we doing with you now? We've got monstrous figure for extra speed. Super four musks, whisper of glory. Summon disciple army size. I don't think you actually need that. Uh, Uke Rocket did a five dollar super Playing as this faction, how do you decide who to vassalize and who to just wipe out? By making a decision. <laughs> you have to decide that for yourself. There is no right or wrong answer to it. Thanks for the super chat. Should have picked the first option? Yeah, I should have. You're right. Yeah, I'll go with that. Alright, I'm going to fight this battle... Man, you and Altor is off. Last, I am unleashed. And yeah, we're gonna subjugate. Cool. Alright, I think we'll still be able to reach here next turn, so we'll stop that war. Now these guys here are my faithful allies. Yeah, cool. He's fully subjugated for now. Okay, cool. Alright, now, technologies. We just finished Grateful Enslavement, and the next one I wanted was going to be... Oh god, there's so many texts that I want. Let me see. No, I don't care about that. Yeah, that's a really good one. We need to build the Temple of Decadence for that. So the Temple of Decadence. Is that building there, which can be built in a minor settlement. Okay, we need to build the Temple of Decadence as soon as possible. Uh, Live did a. I'm never gonna pronounce it right. Uh, did a CZK129 super chat. I know what you mean, man. I'm a police officer and. Sec. Check out. Check here. Uh, with 24 hour shifts, it gets to you. Yeah, I know, yeah. Definitely did, yeah, I just needed a break. Thanks for Super Chat, again. Wouldn't it be better to sack first? No, I would have used up all my movement, I think. It's it's fine. You might have been right. Um, I'll just go with the extra growth. Alright, I think I've done everything I can. Let's move on. Right. 
So our vassal tribute, I think they're making me about 200. Wait, how much are they giving me? Time. No, they're giving me 90 gold. So yeah, it would definitely make more money if I owned a settlement, but because it's a legendary lord, I might be able to borrow his armies later down the track. If you have a look here, Magic in purest passive income 3 per turn because we get the allegiance points gained plus 25%. Yeah, alright, let's move on. Tis folly. Lord of Slanash. Did I forget to use my other heroes last turn? Oh well. Is this a more normal streaming time for you rather than 3am? This is a more convenient streaming time. For sure. Do you think Slanesh beats Chaos Dwarves or rather counters them? Not really. Okay. The Tempter Lord. Well, they moved their army out of there, which wasn't necessarily a good thing, since it's actually quite easy to beat them if they're in there, but their overall forces are not particularly strong. You! I will not rest till all who threaten Ivress are buried. <laughs> Give me more. Okay, looks like I'll be able to get a non-aggression pact with him after I've done this. Thanks for the money. Yeah, and then... Thanks for the money. No, don't do that. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Made some money out of them. Nice. Alright, let's have a look over here. My divine master. Infiltrate Good. Still didn't get that follower. Name it, and it shall be done. Oh wait, I didn't. Oh, no. Extinction oh. comes. I didn't build the cult over here last turn. Let's do that. Slanesh shows us a life without regrets. All right, so we'll join war by. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of it. You are no friend of the Phoenix Court, traveler. Thank you. How wise? Yeah, joining their wars makes them uh, more seductive towards us. More seductive influence. Okay. Well, this will be a pretty easy fight, I think. Good, the Winds of Magic is tempestuous down here. Good. Oh, 
almost three hours in and we're on turn eight. We were trailblazing this time, still faster than Mercy. Well, the thing to keep in mind is that you can sit there and say, ah, oh, you know, three hours in and he's only on turn ten, but a lot of people, they just sit there auto-resolving the beginning of the campaign or they don't, they don't move aggressively. We've been doing stuff the entire time. I've been fighting loads of battles. But yeah, just watching somebody else who sits there auto-resolving, but, you know, gets to turn 50 within an hour, I don't think that that's impressive at all. But, you know, to each their own. Alright, um, yeah, just fight it manually. Hey, Legion, is the Green Knight with Britonia permanent? No, not permanent, but he's someone that you can keep getting an unlimited number of times. Our chariot's good in medieval hammer three, <laughs> MH three. Uh, who had the had the best chariots? Beastmen, Slanesh, Tomb Kings. Uh, chariots can be good. They are very squishy, but they can do a lot of damage very quickly. The best chariots. Hmm, depends. No mercy slander. Well, it's not slander if it's true. Mercy moves at an absolute snail's pace in his campaigns. <laughs> he's a good player, but yeah, he's really slow. That's not slander. It's mostly because he sits there and, ch and chats to his chat rather than play the game. But I think he's, he's trying to get better at doing that. Alright, at least Nokari can heal. But he has to completely wipe out a unit in order for that to happen. Actually, bring these guys out because I want them to see it. And that way, they'll hopefully stay there. Get these guys around over here. And luckily, going up against the Orcs, they don't have that many archers. Is this room lighting thematic? No, I'm corrupted by Slanish. Uh, I've used a chroma key. Look. I, I can turn it off. I'll turn it off for a minute. There you go. That's what it actually looks like here. Sunlight, no! Hmm, spike trap will slow us down by heaps. Gotta try to get these sieges done quickly because everyone hates them. And yeah, trolls aren't great against single entity small lords there, so that works out just fine for us. Cool. Okay, we've got incoming over this side as well. need Nakari to gain some health. He hasn't been at full health since bloody turn one. So see if you can wipe out this unit here, Orc boys. 
to so you can eat their souls. There you go. You get a lot of replenishment off that. A lot of regeneration, I mean. That ability is really useful when you're going up against something like the undead or other demons because they don't rout. So you've uh, absorbed their souls. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing about Warhammer 3 is that Doomstacks are quite quickly becoming very unpopular. Like, the Doomstack videos aren't really doing very well. So, and there's a reason for it. You don't need to make Doomstacks in Warhammer 3. So it needs to be something, like, really kind of special. Just any old Doomstack just isn't cutting it these days. Because, yeah, you just don't need to make Doomstacks in this game. Uh... I'm just going to occupy. What's the best way to deal with Helmand Gorst as Nurgle? Defeating him is the best way to go about it. <laughs> Lord of Slanish. Move out, Lord of Slanish. Lord of Slanish. When do our other guys come back? Two more turns. Okay. Prince of Ecstasy awaits. An artifact of the god blasphemy. You may bow. Ah. Okay, they're all they're all backing each other up there, so that's good. This but maybe we don't want them to do that. Screams. Maybe I want Shovel. this one to come up over here. Exquisite decadence. If I stand here. Nah, just leave it. Leave it. No, no big deal. Let me imbibe your essence. Hmm. More health would definitely not go to waste on Nakari. Gift from my master. Almost at rank thirteen. Getting that. Okay. I don't think I need more troops just yet. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I've got plenty devotees. Wasn't there another settlement around here? What was the three that I, um... It was Grunberg? Iron Spike. What was the other one that I got a, um... Sudenberg. Right. Let's get a cult down here. Gotta spread that. Spread the sex. Let's go. Oh, hang on, he's got to level up. Oh, well, there's one over here. My divine master. The cult of plentiful excess. Legend, should I shower daily and be brushing my teeth as well? Your desire is no longer... Uh, no. You should, uh, try to go as long as possible without showering and brush your teeth with mud. There you go. Ooh, threatening me. Um. Hmm. They'll go after my vassal. Which I don't really want him to do that. But also I don't care. So, fuck off. <laughs> I actually found this campaign kind of hard in the beginning. Yeah, man, this campaign makes me hard as well. Yeah. Yeah, it, it yeah, definitely makes it hard at the beginning.
Ah, could have used them for money. Oh well. At least I stole about as much as I could out of them. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh no, the player is coming. Run away. <laughs> Uh, I can make this faction a vassal, but I don't think I'm going to. Alright, let's have a look here. Scion of excess. So what I'm thinking is we'll send... Send Nakari to Cairn Thel on his own. Hang on, where did one of their armies go? He's not an ambush dancer over here, is he? Faction. Unless he swung around over this way. No act too unspeakable, no torment too delicious. Hmm. This this settlement here has a smaller garrison. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Plus, as soon as I capture the settlement here, we'll probably get attacked by high elves um, by Tyrion. These guys will swing back around this way, so maybe I should send Nakari to the Shrine of Loic and send these guys to Cairnthel. Yeah. Okay, there he is. I am a Narian reborn. Show me some respect. Slanesh demands perfection. Pleasure through pain. Moving out. Lord of Decadence. Why, yes. Alright, I might actually be able to order resolve this battle. I mean, that item's pretty good, but damn, that was a lot of damage. I wouldn't have taken that much. Oh, God, I should have fought that manually. Pleasure seeker. This guy is going to immediately turn back around this way. Well, not necessarily. He might actually push on to Port Elistor. It might happen, but he's... Slice, flame, hmm. feast. Well, if I'm just not standing inside the settlement, even if he defeats us, it's not going to do anything, really. I could subjugate him, but I want the settlement for myself, so I'll fight. I have to fight this manually. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we will occupy that, but don't sit inside the settlement, because there's a good chance we're going to lose. Recruiting another lord here won't help us. Since this is, you know, four units, four um, armies. Of excess. My obsession is pain. Slave to your gifts. Mm, I shouldn't have auto resolved that one. I, your essence. That's their last settlement, so you can subjugate them right. Yeah, but I don't want them as a vassal, the useless vassal. I, I want to kill them. If they swing back around here and beat us here, I don't really care. We dedicate this carnal bloodshed to Slanesh. With this unit here, I might be able to overcome the odds. Take your place in the Legion of Pain. Because their army is trash. And this could get potentially thousands of oh, 8,000 kills, maybe. Potentially, if I micro it well enough. We should be able to manage that. Alright. 
name is Let's have a look here. And it shall be done. No, you want that specialist. We gotta try to get more Extinction. Good. Comes. That's what we want to see. Gifts of Slanesh. This will give us our devotees. Name it, and it shall be done. The cult of endless delights. And every time we establish a new cult, we get another cultist, in which case we establish another cult. Pleasure for pleasure's sake. Extinction comes. Good. Does that cost money? No, it's free. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just leave it on that. My prince. Good. Good, 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 good. And we've got one down here now, right? Yep, there we go. My divine master, Slanesh's courtesan. The cult grows. And the cults spread. Dedicate this carnal bloodshed to Slanesh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that all looks pretty good. So yeah, this will be interesting to see what happens over here over the end turn, I suppose. Big as an orc! Hmm. No. What is about the dread fleet? Black jab flotilla of the dark. Yeah, we got two settlements. Nah, I'll screw him. No, noble born. We can beat them, vampire pirates. All right, cool. Let's move on. Okay, moving on. If your question doesn't titillate my Ah, so surprising. Okay. Wasn't expecting this to happen, but uh, this is why I didn't put my army inside the settlement. We cannot win this fight. Not possible, but we can ensure that our guys here don't. I should have taken their items off them. What have they got? Uh, nothing particularly spectacular. They can only steal one item from us at a time. We knew that this was the risk. If Nakari had come here, this could have actually been a very difficult fight. Um, all right, what we want to do in this case here is fight the battle, but then immediately. Concede defeat. Yeah. Immediately concede defeat. Because if I order resolve, everyone dies. If I concede defeat before my reinforcements have shown up, only the garrison dies, and that doesn't matter. So, Legend, you're not vassalizing. No, I am. I vassalized, um... Uh, Eltharion. Just not vassalizing everyone, because some of them don't actually have any value. Oh, shit! This guy here took some damage. He didn't get wiped out. Hmm. Okay, whatever. You could fight a little bit and then withdraw units so they don't die. No, that'd be a just that'd be a complete waste of time because the enemy forces outnumber us by so much, and they're going to occupy the settlement, which means they're just going to replenish all the casualties anyway. And Tyrion's coming in, so it just it wouldn't be worth it.
You could fight a little bit and then withdraw units so they don't die. It's a siege battle. You can't withdraw in this situation. No pleasure to be had here. It's all good. It's all good. No harm. No, no serious harm done there. I didn't think that they would declare war on me straight away. Interesting. Two armies on force march there. Oh, they'll actually come back him up. Interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. The Greenskins and Tyrion, they're all going to fight together. Ah, damn it, they didn't reinforce back to um, friendly territory. Okay. 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 That's a lot of troops for turn 10. I think I should have been recruiting a little bit more. Oh, I should not have auto resolved that previous battle. Tyrion's on horseback. Rank 12 already. That guy's not. Oof, we're in a pickle there. That is a pickle. Because these guys are on horseback. Um, I think I can bring back the other guys. At least, yeah, these guys are a bit stronger. The Dark Master wills it, Lord of Slanesh. The Dark Master wills it. Hmm. Ridiculous. No pleasure. No excess just. Yeah, they got a lot of archers, so we could potentially goof them around. Come taste exquisite supper. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna stand there. They didn't steal any of my items either, I don't think. You're gonna stand here. Moving out. Time to save. I think we'll be okay. Eternal taste. I want their secrets. Ooh, it says decisive defeat. God damn. Okay. Damn it, that's just a little bit too expensive. It would have been nice to get their Phoenix. I can get their Eagle, though. about the silver helm given the amount of archers that they've got I think the silver helm might actually be the most useful unit to get control in the skies I don't think it's gonna help us because we'd have to get all their eagles I'm gonna take this unit <coughs> all right let's do it
Can you rush and rout the orcs? Elves will auto die. No, you need vanguard deployment if you want to do something like that. We don't have vanguard deployment. We just wouldn't. Um, we wouldn't come in fast enough. All right, we're gonna need to hide the majority of our troops. That will make it difficult for them to shoot. Okay. I think we can rely on the fact that the AI is really bad. But of course, if they rush at us, that's really bad for us. That's all hidden. Even these? Oh yeah, they do hide. Okay. Everybody but Nakari. Nobody's going to be able to catch Nakari. He's... Nobody is faster. Okay. Everyone else hidden? Okay. Let's see what they do. I think they're going to take a defensive position. Yeah, they're taking a defensive position. Okay, just wait for their reinforcements to show up. Let's get rid of these archers, hey? Good thing we got all that extra missile resistance. That really helps. Okay, reinforcements came in. Let's see, what are they doing? Still not entirely sure what they're doing. Was the cultist level 13? You missed the summon as she was? No, she's ranked 12. my speed to my advantage here and get them to start chasing after me they haven't seen these units over here yet uh, William T did a photo super chat they really need to fix the AI it's ridiculous that you can simply click back and forth with no skill and drain all their ammo okay thanks you super chat dude appreciate it Let's firstly try to get rid of their flying units. So, to do that... Actually, you come with. We need to bait them down this way. God, I'm going up against a lot of force here. But he green skins and high elves unite against chaos here. But I'll whip him in the meantime. Oh yeah, we can maybe even kick him down the hill. Oh, the hill's not that... Maybe, maybe from up here, maybe? Yeah, look, she's ranked 12. Okay, that killed some of them, that's good. How fast is Tyrion? 105. Okay, I can outrun him. As long as I can stay nice and fit. Makari, 8,000 damage. Okay. Fighting these eagles one at a time, but just away from the rest of their archers. How much magic do we have? Okay, we got heaps. Move. Faster. Moving. 
I'll bring these guys over here. And you. Because, yeah, if we can fight these single entities, knock these ones down, that's going to make it really good for us. I think. I think it's because there's so many of their units on the battlefield, we can actually kind of use that against them a little bit. Yeah, that killed a few of them. Okay, here comes Tyrion. Let's, let's see if we can kill Tyrion. He's only rank 12, so he shouldn't be bloody invincible yet. He doesn't have the heart of Avalon, so that's good. Ah, oh, shit, they're sending some units over this way. That's not good. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Yeah, do that. Yeah, I might lose this battle. Okay, Tyrion's going down. Looks like he might actually rout rather than die. Need your help. Hang on, they're starting to bring some units over this way. Yeah. <laughs> Have I maybe bitten off more than I can chew? Alright, well Tyrion's left the battlefield, so that's good. Definitely would have been better if we could have wounded him. I don't like what's going on over there. Alright, faster units. Move, get out of there. It's not a good position for you to be in. Let's see if we can lure some of them away. Right, let's draw some of their attention away from here. We're not ready to fight this head on yet. Come on, I want to fight you. Land, you bitch. Okay, you're no good here. Move that back. These ones over here. Yeah, they're shooting Nakari. We do not want to get bogged down in a melee fight with this infantry where we can't get out. That would be very bad for us. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Move, 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 move. Okay, so far so good. We've gotten some pretty, pretty much free kills so far. We've drawn them away from here. That's good. Because this is definitely our weakness right now. Our melee infantry can't cope with that. It's too much. We have to thin out the herd first. Now, from here is getting these guys around this big ass army. They're all aiming for Nakari. Which might help us to squeeze through here. Come on guys, squeeze through. Need to get around the back of this army. Move. Move, 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 Need to get rid of these damn phoenixes. Uh, well, there's only one phoenix. Need to get rid of it, though. Come on, guys. Up through here. Looks like a disaster battle. Oh, this is totally a disaster battle. Absolutely. Order Resolve said decisive defeat. He's on 22,000 damage so far. That's good. Good. We drew them away from there. That's really good. Okay. Alistair's 
by himself. He's only rank three. They should be able to handle that. Okay, good. We got around the back of their army. Awesome. This is actually going really well so far. One slip up and I'm dead though. No one faster. Oh yeah, you can totally see how getting knocked down does lots of damage to them now. Not. <laughs> They're just running around in circles around him. Fucking hell. Alright, I want them to land, and then the Hell Striders, if you could pin them down. Pin it down. No, that didn't work. down there. That's good. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That legend, the patch note said this. So surely it's right. Has he done any damage though? No, okay, that's fine then. Do not let this phoenix get away. Yeah, the chariots really shouldn't be in their way. Come on, don't shatter it. I want it dead. Come on, Nakari. One more hit. Oh, bloody regenerating bastard. Oh my god, they're just... All they're doing is knocking him down constantly, it's not doing anything. Let's take out that wizard. Let's try to take out their isolated targets. We need to get rid of all their single entities. Once we've done that, then we should be okay. Now, since Tyrion's the commander of the battle and he left the battlefield rather than get wounded, that's not ideal because now they're not taking a leadership penalty from that. Which is what I wanted. Okay, when fighting someone on horseback, you can't knock them down, so look how quickly they'll kill this one. Oh my god. They still haven't fixed the phoenixes. They have a hundred percent chance of um of healing. It's it's bugged. <laughs> so many things bugged. But it can only heal so many times. Now if you're wondering why am I bothering trying to kill it, it'll give Nakari some health and also loot money. Alright, down there it's just a bunch of archers, so we need to get all of our fast units around over there and hit that. There we go. Nakari got his heal. Good. Let's go. Let's move. Okay, that hero is just about dead. Get her. Got her. Nice. Alright. Okay, things are looking pretty good right now. Pretty good. We've taken out some really important targets. Just 
yeeted Alistair out of it. Starts playing chaos music. Silver yeah, get shot by those archers. Okay, one more hit. Actually, he's probably getting his soul siphon. Yep, cool, got him. Okay, that eagle also went down. Yeah, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Lots of damage coming, coming, get up. Drinking pain. Charge. The party moves. Faster. Unleash my power. Alright, let's try to get them into a blob, and it's time to bring in the infantry. Now that we've taken out all the dangerous single entities. Oh, watch out there, Nakari. You get around the back of their army again. It's time to, um launch the full-on attack. Now that we know that the balance is roughly even, let's press our somewhat advantage. Well, let's see if we can kick him down the hill. No, the hill isn't steep enough. Yeah, guys, just wait for the cavalry to get around their flank. Sweet. Kari just keeps messing up their formation. That's exactly what we want to do. Oh, around the flank there. Actually, I don't really want this one. To f I'll stay on the far flank. It'll be fine. That's it. Alright, charge in. Try to avoid the melee infantry where possible, and not what we should be going for. We're going for their missile units. Plane goes off overhead. Yeah, don't go after their melee infantry, go after the missile units. There we go. Okay, Nakari's getting shot up a little bit, but all that missile resistance is really coming in handy here now. William T did a five dollar submission. Have you ever considered testing your skills in a multiplayer? Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks for super chat. Great. 
Alright, this battle's over, we won. Where's that orc here? Oh god, this one's really dead, get him out. Right, the High Elves have been army lost. Yeah, they've been army lost, but the Orcs haven't. Not yet. As far as I'm aware, no units got wiped out, so that's even better. Yeah, could you try to keep that unit pinned down? Because you just can't finish it off. Still have an army lost him yet. There we go. Whew. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to win that. When they started marching towards here, I was—I thought I was in real trouble, but luckily we lured them away. I just knew that my infantry weren't going to be able to win that head-on at that point in time. Alright, cool. Nakari gets himself some heals. Cool. Oh man, 1,260 devotees. Yeah, I'll take that. March for the Prince of Chaos. Promise of pain. The Temple. Okay, all three armies are reinforcing there. That's good. Yeah, we didn't lose any units. And how are we going for Slanesh Corruption over here? 72%. Okay. How damaged are you guys? Because this force over here, which isn't really that big of a concern, I suppose. Did we get... We got the trait right from defeating Tyrion? Yeah, Ulth 1 undefended. That's good. What kind of gel do you use in your hair? What I do is I stick my finger up my ass crack, and then I just go like this, and there you go. <laughs> it's Eau de Nugle. Uh, let's... Duke Nelson did a ten dollars super chat. What campaign do you recommend in IL, IE overall to learn how to play deal with legendary difficulty high elves? Yeah, high elves is probably a good one to to uh, learn how to play legendary for sure. Thanks super chat. This is the pain that is pleasing. Drink in my excellence. Hmm. 
Yeah, more melee defense for him is good. This oh, yeah, he got three levels up from that battle. And yeah, getting him some more magic wouldn't hurt either. I just don't think these three here would be able to beat this. No, they're going to need Nakari to sort that out. I'll need to put a Lord in here, I think. Because I, I get a feeling that this guy is going to try to besiege the settlement. And just with him in there, they should be able to handle it. Okay, we can't order resolve this. Or else we lose a demonette, which I can't replace right now. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, so, guys, I didn't really want to draw too much attention to it, but obviously there was a bit of an argument in the chat. Just a little bit of the rules, okay? If you're gonna... If you want to ask a question, that's fine. You can ask whatever question you want. But if you're going to put, like, sass and tone behind it, and you're going to... throw insults around, you're gonna get banned. Okay? And don't start arguments in the chat. I don't have a problem with people asking questions about the game, but yeah, when there's fucking attitude behind it, I'm gonna ignore the questions, and you're gonna get yourself banned, so just keep that in mind. I just don't have any time to deal with people that can't come in here with... with shit to, to deal with. I just, I just, just fuck off, you know? I just don't have time for you. I don't care, like, if somebody comes in and does a hundred dollar super chat, and starts causing problems in the chat, I will ban you. The amount of money that you super chat means nothing to me if you start disrupting chat. So just keep that in mind. No. But Legend, you can't ban him, he gave you money. Don't care. It's pretty simple, if you don't want to get banned, don't be a dick in the chat. That's, that's all you gotta do. Who's being naughty? Nobody. Nobody. Uh, the greenskins went over this way, didn't they? Let's just go after them. Maybe they're hiding in this forest. Yeah, they're hiding, waiting for their high elf friends. No. They're over here. Uh, these two are really badly damaged, are they? Are. I'm just not going to put up with any bullshit. That's all you got to know. So, you yeah. know, ask any question you want, but. You start throwing bullshit at me. I'm just going to get rid of you. Uh, life is a simulation to a 10 pound super jet. What's the opposite of near queen heaven? No, you're trying to get me to say something. Thanks for the chat. Uh, I do find you did a photo of Jet. Heard anything good about Age of Wonders 4? I never played Paradox title before. Um, yeah, a lot of people are asking me about Age of Wonders 4. I'm not interested in it. So, I haven't I haven't watched any gameplay. I haven't... Like, what... As far as I'm, what I'm aware, Paradox reached out to a whole bunch of Total War YouTubers. But they didn't reach out to me. And that's fine, I don't care. So, I'm not getting the game. I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm just the wrong person to ask about it. Kind of feel like I might be blacklisted with um, Paradox. It's kind of weird that all the other YouTubers, Total War YouTubers, they all get um, like reached out to by Paradox, but I don't. Which is fine. I don't. I don't care. I'd probably say no to it most of the time. Paradox is not a company that I particularly want to work with. I've not heard good things about them. So, I'm not involved in any of their past or future content releases. I like Paradox games, don't get me wrong. I'll play their games, but I won't cover them on the channel, or I, w I won't work with them either. At least at this stage. Okay. 
Okay, let's go here. I think one of the lords accidentally got left out of it. I miss a super chat? Sorry. Arcade Man 58 did a two dollar super chat saying thanks for super chat. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for that first super chat. Sorry I missed it. So what's your dream company to work with then? As far as game companies are concerned, um on this channel, there is no ideal uh, game company to work with. Um, my experience with most game companies has been pretty negative for the most part. There are a few games companies that are like indie that have been good, but I can't really cover their games on on the channel. It just wouldn't be a good business decision for me. So typically speaking, I don't, I don't reach out to games companies and I'm not really interested in working with them as a general rule of thumb. Uh, Jack Flanagan did a five dollar super chat. Good evening from the U.S. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. All right, I will take the devotees because the ones aren't that much. Have you tried reaching out to the guys at Valheim? No, I don't really want to either. Like, I like, I really like Valheim, but I don't want to become a corporate stooge with with uh, Iron Gate. Listen to their scream. I just, I don't really see many cases of YouTubers get into bed with games companies and then that be like one of the reasons their, their channel thrives. I've, I've, in fact, I've never seen it. You're so much better off as a YouTuber to be completely independent of games companies. Every experience that I've had with, for example, Creative Assembly has been a net negative. So, like, I'm going to keep them at arm's length. Like, me and Creative Assembly, we're working out our differences, but, like, I'm not getting back into bed with Creative Assembly, right? <laughs> no way. And that pretty much goes the same for every other game's company. I'm just not going to jump into bed with them. We will drive you out. The Tempter Lord. Because I know what I want to do on this channel. And I don't need games companies messing with that. I don't need their help. Alright, we don't need this unit anymore. Because I'm pretty sure we just wiped out all of their forces. Yeah, we did. <laughs> he's, got nothing. he's not going to recover from this. He will never financially recover from this. Uh, Shadow of Calamity to 10 dollars super chat. What's up, Legend? Glad to see you're doing better mentally. Setting boundaries with the masses seem to have helped you enjoy streaming more. Hearts. Peace fingers. Uh, thanks for the great content, man. Alright, no worries, dude. Appreciate the super chat. So, just out of curiosity, has early access never boosted the channel? Uh, it depends on how you look at it. There's lots of little things that you can look at with early access. But, overall... My my thoughts on it now is no, it doesn't boost the channel. It depends. It depends on how you build your channel up. Um, if your channel is built around providing Total War news and covering early access, then yeah, obviously it'll boost your channel. But that's not what my channel is about. So I would say that... Like, what ends up happening in early access is that... You can get a lot of views during early access, but you usually have to work pretty hard to get them. And you'll often see people get burnt out after early access. And so, 
if you only summarize the value of early access during the early access yes. part and take out of the I equation desire. all the negatives that are associated with it, then you can definitely see that early access is useful. But if you add the negatives that come with it, then you forgot the cult to summon against the level two lords. Ah, oh, okay, doesn't matter. Um, I just, I just don't really need it. It's probably best just to not deal with, with that kind of stuff. It's not worth it. My divine master, the cult of plentiful excess. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll like talk to games companies behind the scenes, but most of the time they're like, "Hey, could you cover our game?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Nah, no, I don't think so. Name it, and it shall be done. The cult. Ooh, we are setting up some cults out here. My divine master, extinction comes. Oh, Slanesh is ascendant. Nice. What happened there? Did we? I don't think we made it there. Yes, Dark Prince. Uh, Cameron Spitznagel did a photo of some Gotta leave, it's getting late here, but keep up the good work and crush those knife ears. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Name it, and it shall be done. Thanks for the answers. I was uploading to YouTube for a while and my channel wasn't sure how impactful it is. Like I said, it just depends. Every channel is different. You know, some some channels will tell you that early access is like the greatest thing ever. And that they that they absolutely love it. And that that's great. Everybody is I clicked the army. Yeah, I was trying to click the army. I already had a cult there. She ran out of movement. Look, if I go back down there. I already have a cult there. I, I was trying to hinder Submission replenishment. Oh no, she did try, she failed. Because, look, it just didn't get the notification for it. Yeah. Notifications sometimes aren't showing. My divine master. Because we want to give gifts of Slanesh so that we can get Speak devotees. Is this... Number four. Extinction comes. Yeah, she failed. Cultist, they call to you. Master, what pleasures do you require? Speak. You are in. Bah. Oh well, that happens. So yeah, you know, just going back to that stuff um, with games companies like. You know, a lot of people just like going to the, lots of events with, with games companies and stuff like that, but I, I just have found, personally, that I just don't get much value out of it, so I I don't waste much time with them, that's all. Has Troy Total War been abandoned by CA? I, I more think of Troy Total War as being finished by CA. It's It wasn't really abandoned. It, it just... They kind of finished all the, their planned content with it. Like, no Total War game is ever going to be updated forever. That'd be ridiculous to expect that. Alright, I think I've done everything I can there. Like, I'll still, I'll still, like, talk to Creative Assembly, but as for, like, early access and stuff, um, the biggest, the biggest, uh, thing that stops me from wanting to do early access is the embargoes. The embargoes are garbage. Absolute garbage. Yeah, I'll go with that. Because, like, you can't really be honest about the content until, like, the day before it comes out. But if you spend, like, two weeks making content prior to it, but you've got some serious problems with the content, um, people can get a, a bit of an idea that you absolutely love the content, even though you've got some serious criticisms. So... Until such time as the embargoes become more flexible, where you can be honest about a content and you're not just uh, free advertising for the company, then I'm not interested in in participating in a system that I think does not benefit the creator or the viewer. It only benefits the developer, so I refuse to um, to 
uh, to take part in that. I don't want that. All right, let's go and uh, I think we'll subjugate Tyrion, but we'll give him a minor settlement like um, like this one over here, Tower of Lycian. Troy is horrendous in my opinion. Uh, I would say the battles in Troy are terrible, for sure. But I don't think that Troy is inherently terrible. There's a lot of things I like about Troy. But definitely not the battles. The battles are terrible. Probably the worst battles in any Total War game go to Troy. They're so bad. But the campaign mechanics are good. You call the Tro combat in Troy finished? No, no. Um, look. When it comes to any Total War game, can you truly say that any Total War game is perfect? There's not a single one that you would that I could say is perfect. She's gonna declare war. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. What's the race that's not currently in the game that we'd like to see CA introduce? Um, Araby. That'd be good. I saw a guide that recommends taking the Gashazar on turn 8. This way Imrit can get dragons quickly. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Mm, that could be a good idea. If you can pull it off. Care to elaborate on the battles of Troy? I've never played it. One word, collision. The collision of the battles in Troy are the worst that Total War has ever seen. There is, there is like, next to no collision. The balancing of the battles is just so bad. Definitely the worst, because they've got a whole bunch of unit types, right? But it's not a rock, paper, scissors system. It's just simply strong unit beats weak unit. That's what it really comes down to. Especially on the higher battle difficulties, it can be very frustrating to actually use your army because they are so impotent. It's like you've got units that just straight up lose because it's got massive melee cheats for the AI. And using like counter tactics just don't provide the value that it says it's going to provide. And so what ends up happening is that you either need to cheese it with missile attacks, which aren't as powerful as, as Warhammer 2, um, or just go chariot spam, which deletes every unit in the game, just as long as you avoid certain terrain. And also relying very heavily on, like, Lord dueling. Like, if you've got Achilles, for example, just have him, like, kill the entire enemy army by himself. So there's a lot of really unsatisfying, uh, matchups in, in Troy, I felt. I, look, I didn't play Troy to a huge degree, so I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm gonna be an expert of it. I only played it for maybe 40 hours in total. Um, I never finished a single campaign in Troy, but of the battles that I did fight, I fucking hated them. And I hated them by a lot. Like, I did not enjoy the battles. Tactics just felt fucking useless. It just came down to, Dad, do you have stronger units than the AI? And I think that's a really bad way to set up a game. Make them suffer. So what I what I liked with Troy was to just play the campaign side of things and battles were battles were just like something that I had to do in order to play more campaign. Your last they fixed collision a while ago to be honest. The last time I played it it had not been fixed. They said that they fixed it but they, it was definitely not fixed. The last time I played it it was not fixed whatsoever. I do continue to fight Osamuja. I visited the Osaka Tenmangu shrine recently and noticed that they had Brisbane Monument. I just thought it was interesting is all. Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that, but thanks for Subichat. Drinking my excellence. Yeah, Troy's just one of those Total War games that I didn't enjoy enough to really feel like I needed to master and learn everything about it. So there's definitely areas to which I, I, I don't know. 
But what I did play, I thoroughly did not enjoy. Thoroughly did not enjoy the battles. And the thing is, if you don't enjoy the game, why bother playing it? Like, I just... What was the, what would be the point in playing that game for a hundred hours just to decide that I don't fucking like it? <laughs> you know? The battles, that is. Every step is pleasure. Alright, they got a new dude over here. I'm gonna... My prince. But yeah, I, I did really like the campaign mechanics. Good. Another gift set up there. Name it, and it shall. Be. Do I really need another cult? Yeah, another cult. The cult of unfettered pleasure. Keep them coming. Cult. Gets a bit of a snowball effect after a while. No, 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 go with this. It's costing a fortune. Speak, master. You can always just disband them after a little while. You can also demolish these cults. To um, get back some of the. Okay, I'll need you to do that. I was hoping their army would be there. And it shall be done. The cult of plentiful and get back some of the cultists. My prince. Jonathan Grover did a five dollars budget. Thanks for the consistently great content for like years now, bro. Appreciate you. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, Jacob McBrayer did a two dollars budget. Imric start is tough because of Sea Dwarf. Any advice? Uh, I haven't played Imric since since the Chaos Dwarfs have come out, so I'd have to have another look at it. Moving, well, thanks for Super Chat. Prince. Legend, do you miss naval battles? No, not really. It, it depends, though, because naval battles, just on their own, that's very vague. Like, Empire Total War Napoleon naval battles are good. Shogun 2 for the Samurai battles, naval battles, good. Rome 2 naval battles, awful. Total Rotilla naval battles, awful. Shogun 2 vanilla naval battles, awful. So, implementing bad naval battles into a game? No, D keep that out of it. Implementing good naval battles into a game? I'm all for that. So, it just depends on what you're asking for. Alright, I think we should... Never. Obviously, taking Lothurn would be good. But we do also don't want this army here getting too strong. I don't think these three guys on their own are going to be able to handle that. And they might be able to. No. No. No, I'm going to go for Lothurn. It'll take them some time to rebuild their army. Plus, I need those guys to help me out with this. That, that's their main job, to deal with these sieges. Every sensation is mine to experience. March with the Prince of Chaos. Promise of pain. Okay. I don't think we need to worry about seducing any units. Plus, I'm hemorrhaging cash, so I need to um, keep my um, treasury under control. Rome 2 naval battle's bad. I enjoyed it. So good one. Sounds enticing. Uh, well, it all comes down to personal preferences, as always. I hate the naval battles in Rome 2. They're awful. Personally, I hate them. Although I actually, of all the naval battle games, it's actually Shogun 2 vanilla naval battles I hated the most. Hey Legend, do you ever come to LA? If you do, would you do a fan event? The chances of me ever going to LA are pretty much as close to 0% as you possibly could get. <laughs> well, not being absolute... Oh, damn it. This is on... Oh, oh I'm not going to be able to use it in this battle. Oh, well. Yeah, the chances of it are very low. Okay, actually, I need... I need them to be hidden. 
because I want to try to lure their forces over here. Although, what they're probably going to do is put their troops at the back of the settlement. Doesn't matter, though. Just don't want them seeing all these guys. Can this hide? No. So you're going to have to stay all the way over there. But I still want Nakari over here. Okay, cool. They put all, most of their forces here. All right. That's what I wanted to see. Even with DEI. Or D well, mods do change things. I, I don't think I've played many naval battles with DEI. Maybe it does make it better, but... I am always just talking about the vanilla side of things. No one faster. Onward. Faster. One of the famous rapper offered you an all-expenses-paid vacation. Uh, like, why would that happen? It just seems ridiculous. I'll tell you what, if that ever happens, I'll consider it. But that just seems like... Why would that happen? Does CA have completely different teams working on Total War games? It feels like they never learn anything from previous games, ditching good features and replacing them with bad ones. I don't really know exactly how CA works, but I believe that they do have multiple teams, but they've got like a main game team, right? And the main game team hops from project to project. So, for example, the main game team for Warhammer 3 is moving on to the next Total War game, and they moved on to it around the time of... Um, uh, when Immortal Empires first came out, so August, September of last year, the ma the main team was moving over to whatever the next historical Total War game is, or whatever the next Total War game is. And then they've got their, like, DLC team. So they've got CA Sophia, which are working on something. So yes, the short answer is yes, they do have separate teams. Alright, what did they do this over here for? But as to what those teams are doing, I, I really don't know. But I, I think that the majority of their workforce is working on hyenas and um, and whatever the next Total War game is. Which, I'm surprised it hasn't been announced yet. I kind of expected the next historical Total War game to be announced by now. I mean, hang on, am I in? Alright, I don't need to bash down the gate. I don't intend to leave the settlement. The main team should be Aussie only. Uh, well, that's racist. <laughs> why? Why would should they be Aussie only? I think that the team should not be racially biased one way or another, and should be more merit biased. It should be based on what skills you are, not what race you are or what country you're from. I'm sure you were just joking, but. I don't, I don't really even want to humor that kind of joke. It's been announced it's called Hyenas. Yeah, yeah, that's the next, that's the next, like, game that's coming out for Creative Assembly, but it's not the next Total War game, and I don't think Creative Assembly expects that the majority of the Total War audience is going to be interested in that. They're trying to get a whole new audience. Like, Hyenas is not for us, okay? It, there's no way that this game is being developed for us. It's been probably made for kids. Uh, nuisance in rehab that if I some chat. Would you do live streams for mid game companies? Mid mid game companies? Uh, no. No, 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 no. I only I only live stream what I want to play, and uh, the games companies has no influence over me whatsoever. I don't work for the games companies. I work for you guys and myself. So. Mid-game company is a pretty vague term. The size of a company doesn't matter. What matters is their merit, how good they are. Whether the uh, whether the, the games that they're making are aligned with what I want to play. And whether or not they're actually a good company to work with. These are, these are things to take into consideration. But, you know, most developers, most of them, are not interested in growing my channel. And so I'm not interested in growing their game. Now, I am interested in, in growing the player base for Total War, because I'm aligned with that. But I don't need Creative Assembly's help, and they don't need my help. 
that this is the, one of the big lessons that I've learned is that me and Creative Assembly don't need each other. We don't need each other to work. We don't need to work with each other directly. If that makes sense. Like, I don't need to work with Creative Assembly in order to operate this channel, and they don't need to work with me in order to make their games. And so sometimes it's better if we are in good terms, but work separately, if that makes sense. Just work sort of like friendly adjacent, but not friendly co op. Uh, I don't know. Still figuring these things out. Uh, Lou Holding did a $2 super chat. Did Chorf DLC make Warhammer 40k look more realistic? I think that a Warhammer 40k is likely just because money. Well, that game would sell like crazy. I don't even know why I'm capping this. We're not going to be able to um, do anything with it. Maybe I'll cap it for like a second. He said campaign, not company. Sorry, if I said something, I may have just... I'm like, I'm fighting a battle here. So, if I say a word that I didn't mean to say, just... Just discard it. The longest wrong answer. Yeah, yeah, that'll all happen. I'm trying to fight the damn battle. <laughs> Legend! Do an essay on why you should work with Creative Assembly while in the middle of microing this battle. Yeah. Alright, I need to draw their forces more into the city. So what if... Alright, what if these guys here... If they came out the front, we can draw their forces out this way. Because they're, they're currently... Parking on the um, capture points. I'm gonna get them to stop. Okay, so guys, I don't want to see comments or questions about non game related topics. God damn it. I'm just gonna stop that. Keep it, keep it game related, keep it relevant. This isn't a ask me anything stream. I don't want to talk about real life politics. I'm not interested in it at all. Uh, I didn't ask you to talk about CA though. You just read that. He asked if you'd cover mid campaigns. Mid game, mid game camp. Oh my God. Let me read that again. Oh my god, why did I read that as companies? Holy shit. <laughs> You're totally right. Would you do live streams for mid-game campaigns? Why did I read that as companies? Um, short answer is no. Probably not. Oh my god. That's embarrassing. Fair enough. <laughs> Elijah Jiong did a $1 super chat. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks super chat. Appreciate it. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. No, because what, what I found is that people, typically speaking, they watch my live streams to see how to do the early game. Mid camp, with Warhammer 3, mid campaign is game over for the AI. They've lost by that point, so people don't usually find that very interesting. People just want to see how I start up these campaigns, typically. Wipe that out, we can get him some regen. This guy here is in bad shape. But he's pinned down by the damn cavalry. Damn it, I just wanted this to be quick. But they're actually doing a decent job defending. All right, good. Nakari got his soul stealer. It was clipworthy. 
I just misread it. I don't think it was clip worthy. But whatever. Whatever makes you happy. That's fine. Alright, it's not good then. Yeah, I don't know why I read it that way. I don't know why. Maybe it's because maybe that was on my mind. I don't know. Uh, I do need a five dollars from chat. It'd be cool to see a massive co-op campaign with you, Lawmaster Master Sotek, Lim Lemon Pledge, Great Book of Roger Zerkovich, and Milk Cookies. Okay, sure. Uh, that is so unlikely to occur, but that would be cool for sure. Thanks for super chat. Yeah, I, I can't ever really see that happening. Uh, Stephen Good did 10 dollars super chat. When I used to work in a 3 a.m. in the US, you would do your late nights, and now that I'm third shift, you somehow aligned your game to mine. I feel special. Yes, I did it just for you, for sure. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. All right, we've drawn most of their forces back this way. Now I just gotta clear this out so I can get them out of here. Alright, let's start advancing with the infantry. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do this just with the heroes. Some of those YouTubers you mentioned are highly lactose intolerant. Well, it's not really about that. I mean, when I do those kind of campaigns, usually, usually don't cheese too hard. But I think it's more a case of organizing that would just be a nightmare. And there is no way that I would want to be... Uh, I just don't want to put myself through the organizing of doing that. That's all. And I don't necessarily think it'll make for good content either. Since we've, you've got so many different people with vastly different playstyles. And different audiences. So... I know Zerkovich, for example, hates Legendary Difficulty, but I exclusively play on Legendary Difficulty, so what do we do in that case there? Do I not play on Legendary Difficulty to accommodate Zerkovich? In which case, I'm playing at something that my channel is based on, but his isn't. Or, or vice versa. It's just, it'd be very difficult to align that kind of stuff, that's all. Not doing so well here. God damn these damn archers. I'm gonna lose Nakari if this keeps up. I gotta get him out of here. I gotta get him out of here. He needs to go steal some souls from somewhere. I gotta get him out. This did not go anywhere near as well as I had hoped. We are in agreement. Damn it. Terrain bloody blocking my clicks. Actually, let's get rid of that. That guy should be fine. They don't really focus on broken lords. Would you be willing to do a campaign where only a single siege type of unit is allowed to be used? No. Okay, you're done. Get out of here. No, those kind of restrictive campaigns, I don't see the point in them. Yeah, we're still winning. It's just that I didn't win straight away, that's all. Okay, Nakari needs to eat some souls. So even with that extra missile resistance, it's still a big problem for him. If you summon an Adamon as a Lord, do the Adamon bonuses go away? Uh, yeah, I think they do. Most of them. Get this guy out of here. He's done for the battle. Oh god. Come on, Nakari, you need to you need to heal. Slash. 
In Warhammer 2, if you pick Legendary Difficulty, it would also force very hard battle difficulty, but in Warhammer 3, they can be selected independently. I don't know why they changed that. FALSE! That's not true at all. You could have easy battle difficulty while playing on Legendary Campaign. That's complete and utter false. I don't know where you got that. <laughs> that is not true in the slightest. There we go. Nakari's getting his souls in. The debauched ones. Oh, my marauders here. I need to get them out before they get wiped out. Get this one out of here. Yep, they're getting out of there, it'll be fine. God damn. This siege did not go the way I wanted it to. Which is, you know, to take zero casualties. Sometimes that happens. No units got wiped out, and the army losses should be just around the corner here. Pull this one out, if you don't mind. Try to spend as little time on these sieges as possible, because I know how much people hate watching sieges like this. Which is why I usually try to just win it instantly. But they just didn't let me uh, do that this time. They actually parked the... They actually defended reasonably well for once. Sometimes it happens. It doesn't always win instantly with no trouble. Come on. Where are them army losses at? He's getting shot. Get him out of there. Oh, they're just crowding around a broken unit. Alright, good. We got his healing on there. I just don't see how a 40k Total War game would exist. It's too big. People said the exact same stuff about Warhammer Fantasy and they made it work. The thing is as well, now that Creative Assembly have essentially finished with Total Warhammer 3, they, they've just got a very small team making DLC now, but the, the vast majority of the work on Warhammer 3 has been done. Now that they've achieved this, they'll be looking to what, what the next big thing that they're going to do is, and whether that be Medieval 3... War, uh, Warhammer 40k, who knows. But the last thing I think a company like Creative Assembly wants to do is have this linger for like a decade being their only true, like the biggest thing that they've ever done. They're, gonna, they're going to want to uh, push the boundaries. You know. Otherwise, why, why bother expanding the company? Like they've just opened up a Nottingham office. Right? Running him? I can't remember. So why build that office 
if you weren't going to make use of it and make bigger games. Yeah, that didn't go so well. But no units got wiped out. Lord of the Rings? Maybe Lord of the Rings, maybe. The thing is, they've got to get the rights for that, whereas, and that's a little bit easier now than it used to be, whereas they've already got a good relationship with uh, Games Workshop. Because I really like Shogun 2, I watched your Insane Iko Iki campaign. Your commentary remembered me of the angry German kid. Please be more like that. Laugh my ass off. Nah, look. No, no. Shogun 2 has never really taken off on this channel. So I'm I'm not really leaning towards going back to any kind of Shogun, um, Shogun 2 stuff. They got to expand to make hyenas. Yeah, I don't know about hyenas. It could go either way. Because... Yeah, I think we got a period victory because these guys here took so much damage, but they'll be okay. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it off the play. The Tempter Lord! Alright, so... How are we going to go about this? Alright, I still haven't... I can now I can cancel this. I must give you a hearing. They're pretty close to being subjugated. Maybe I'll just leave it a little bit longer and just see what happens. Kind of want Avalon to come in and smash them. I think a Dungeons and Dragons title war game would be dope. Thoughts? I don't really know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, so... Maybe. To be perfectly honest, I am would I want the next Total War game to be a historical Total War game. Uh, yeah, I, w I want to see Medieval Three. It's been too long since we've had a really good historical Total War game. Like we get historical Total War games, but they're shit. So I want. Oh, hang on. I'd like to see a actual good historical Total War game that they're gonna put the same amount of effort that they put into Warhammer 3, well, just Warhammer in general, into it. That's what I'd like to see. Whether or not that's actually coming, I'm not sure. But I think they know now that if they just make another Total War Attila or a Three Kingdoms sort of half-assed mini-game sort of thing, that it's not going to do so well. This guy here's on a chariot. That's fine. I actually got two chariots there. I love it when they struggle. These guys here are really badly damaged. It'd be quicker for me to make them recover if I switch them out for someone else, I think. <laughs> I'm just going to have some reserve lords constantly. Bring them back in five turns. Because I need them to fight next turn. The Dark Master wills it. Save I don't think I, actually let me see if I've got in, in terms of um, healing items. I don't think I've got anything, but let's see if I can get something. Okay, obsidian trinket and pigeon plucker pendant. Piece of crap. There's other things there that I can fuse, but I think I'd prefer not to. Yep, that should be fine. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go with this. Oh, I went with the corruption one. I've got so many cultists now, I actually need to use this in order to check them. My divine master. Where'd that dude go? On we go. We will. 
Do I please you? Extinction comes. Oh. oh right. Fair enough. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and some leveling up Names, here needs to be done. And it shall be done. Okay, so we're gonna bring all of these guys bar one over to Angerial. So what I'm gonna do is actually have Excellent. this guy here recruit. Oh, demonettes are here. Okay, let me get them to. I'm gonna have him deal with the Tower of Lycee and last, and that's where we're gonna subjugate them. I'm gonna leave them with that settlement since that's the least valuable out of all. If we get this, that's okay. Is there any other landmarks that we get? No. Oh, hang on. We got a landmark here. Eh, that's alright. Let's move on. How's it going? Just wondering a bit about the Valheim channel. Is it still a continuing project? Yeah, but... Yes. The problem with the Valheim channel at the moment is that... The game has been stagnant for a little while. There hasn't been any like new content. And I've kind of reached the end. I don't really have that much more to do. Like, much more new things to do. So, I'm just kind of waiting for the next update to come around before I get really back into it again. You are captive. Go. No. I might attack them. How would you rank the top five factions in the game? Oh, I definitely put them in the top five, for sure. Yeah, they nerf the Shrine of Asurian. Well, that's the landmark for Slanesh. That's not what they get for every single faction. That's all. That was my bad, sorry. What in your opinion are the top five most powerful factions in IE currently? Okay, that's that's a much better question. Alright, top five most powerful factions in Immortal Empires. The top one I think is Scarbrand, but it the big thing that I always need to disclaim whenever I say this kind of stuff is that if you're shit at a faction that I say is really strong, you saying, er, this faction's actually really weak because I suck at it. That doesn't mean anything to me, so these are the factions based on my personal opinions. Not This is not a... Objectively, these are the five strongest, but I think that Corn is the strongest faction in the game, so that is Scarbrand. Um, after that, I'd say... Um, probably... Slaughterhorn Tribe. Then I would say Talson. Then I would say Bellacore. And then... Oh, probably Archeon. Maybe. Maybe. Those are the five strongest, I think. I don't know, Bellicor's campaign seemed easy mode. Yeah, yeah. 
But that's not what he asked. He didn't ask which is the easiest campaigns. He asked which is the strongest. Lord of Slash. Seeking sensation. No high elves in top five? No. Not anymore. Lord of Slash. High elves are still a strong race, but they're, they're not the top race anymore. Seeking Neither are the Skaven. Lord of Exodus. Alright. Break their souls. Yeah, I really want Avalon to take Lost. out the White Tower of Hoeth. My guards stand ready. Choose your words with care. Hmm. This Alright, I think I should fight this battle manually because it'll always auto resolve damage the um the already damaged units. This won't take long. What dethroned them? A little bit of power creep, but also massive nerfs to the high elves. So one of the things that made the high elves so strong before is the entrepreneur trait for handmaidens and uh mages. That trait was nerfed into oblivion. It's now garbage. It's not worth getting at all. And that was one of the things that made them so powerful. Without that, they're still powerful, but they're not top 5 anymore. In my opinion. Now, the reason why I think that those other factions are top 5, when it comes to Scarbrand, the fact that he can pump armies out by just blowing up settlements, that his economy is almost irrelevant, and that he can move such a ridiculous distance in one turn means that he can take out anyone by the early game. And also, corn late game armies are really powerful as well. Uh, in the in the case of um, Torox, it's the exact same thing. Beastmen don't pay any income, uh, don't pay any upkeep costs for their um, armies. They can pump out ridiculous numbers of armies really quickly. And Torox can move a ridiculous distance in a single turn. So, um, in regard to Bellicor and Archeon, Warriors of Chaos are just ridiculously strong because they can just pump out so many armies so many quickly. They just snowball completely out of control by the late stages of the campaign. So many global bonuses for them. Uh, bottom five factions. Okay, that's a little bit. That's actually more difficult to say, but I'd say that the the very what can be easily defined as the worst faction in the game is Nurgle. Uh, Kugath Plaguefather, oh, definitely. Yeah, easily the worst faction in the game. Also, well, sorry, not the worst, the weakest faction. Charge! Yeah, Nurgle's definitely the weakest. It's legend, I really like Nurgle. So the things that make Nurgle really weak is that his economy isn't particularly strong. His heroes aren't particularly strong. His settlements are fairly defensible, but his campaign mechanics, weak. Tech tree, weak. One of the weakest rosters in the game. And probably has one of the most difficult start positions given his starting enemy. So a big failure to just sort of get out and like get things done very slow moving faction which means it gives the AI time to get their shit together which Scarbrand doesn't give you know you got if you're if you start near Scarbrand you got no time to get organized before he comes down Kraken starts. this is of course under the player's control not under the AI control Scarbrand under the AI control doesn't do so well but Nurgle never even gets out of the starting position what am I doing Bring you in, put that summon down. Oh, you still got on the. I don't want to be on that. I need to, I need to stop that. How's Slanesh magic? It's okay. I don't really like it that much. Some people love it. I don't. It's it's just sort of like a midish tier. Lore of magic. Alright, I'm just gonna charge in. 
faster. Move. Can you hear my reinforcements? Damn, Nakari. I should still be able to heal him mostly at full. No one faster. Cool, I'll grab them. No, this one over here is about to die. This one, quick, 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 quick. Good, salt, salt. Would enjoy seeing you go for the world record in survival battles to prove you are the true legend. Okay, well, what is the world record? There's, there's no... <laughs> there's, as far as I'm aware, there is no bar to, uh, to climb over. I need at least, at least a goal to achieve. What's the world record? Legend, do you think CA gonna buff Cathay Caravans on par with Chorps? My legendary Catering campaign economy is completely dependent on them. I don't know. I chose them with Hell Scourge is worth it. Apparently they're better than they used to be, but I'm not sure. Would you rank Hashut close to Fire Law now? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. Like, it definitely is in the case of both um, Drazoath the Ashen and uh astrogoth but those are two are exceptions generic casters they're like okay there's also a lot of global bonuses to those laws of magic in the uh in the tech tree and skill tree Alright, so this guy here is going to need to launch the attack on the Tower of Lycia next turn. There's six units in there. So that's... That actually doesn't seem like very much. He's going to need some troops. So let's get him... I honestly think Devoted Marauders of Slaanesh will be sufficient. Because yeah, next turn we'll occupy this and subjugate that. I'll also need another Lord here. Oh, did you put that on? Iron Course Icon, yes please. I'm sick of getting shot to shit with him. This will slaughter many. The greater secrets are mine. Alone. Uh, going down the blue line's not terrible, because over here, reducing upkeep cost and campaign movement range is good. Yeah, I want more captives. Captured post battle. You may to slay, Lord of Slanesh. I go where Slanesh commands. Drink deep of them. Diplomatic protocol states that I must give you a hearing. Gladly. Yeah, screw him. Ah, 
Grand Ridders, they're over here, aren't they? Where am I? Yeah, I think they're here. Yeah, that's them there. Uh, another trade agreement wouldn't be too bad. Come Let's do that. And show yes, master. Divine immortality. Fear my malice. The black court waits with bated breath. Very well. All right, if I make them a defensive alliance, I won't be able to subjugate them. So I'm not going to do that. Yes. Cruel and dead. What? Dip. Queen of Avalon. I know my place. Alright, this Carl Franz. Is it what the Emperor. fuck? <laughs> He's only ranked two. Has he not fought a battle this entire campaign? It, and it shall be done. I don't have that follower yet that gives us extra success chance, do we? No, not yet. You are in her. Oh, damn it. My divine master, you are in Good. Name it, and it shall be done. My prince! Hmm. Try on guilt. Not very high chances. Oh, but he succeeded. No. Well, she succeeded. Nice. Your sin is my command. My divine master infiltrate Good. That's it. Getting those gifts around. My divine master. Extinction comes. Okay, that failed though. Yes, with vigor. Name it. And it shall be done. Moving, my prince. Darkness comes. My will alone. Ah, good. Von Karstein, Bloodline Lord, they're immortal, so even if his Master. faction gets wiped out, I'll still be able to get. Extinction yeah, there we go. Comes. Good stuff. So that's a permanent. They won't be able to get Names. rid of that unless they actually defeat and me in battle. Be done. Is that Manfred? Yeah. On we go. Does ward save apply to barrier? So if you have 40% ward save, a shot to barrier only does 60%. Hope that makes sense. Yes, your resistances do apply to your barrier. Yes. Yeah, barrier is just another type of health. Oh, crap. I have been spending too much. <laughs> mm. Alright, well, I, oh, that reminds me. This one here, I can take that off. Yeah, I've been spending too much. All right, well, let's get rid of this guy here. And I'll get rid of this guy here as well. Actually, why don't you come over this way? Let's help them out. Uh, uh, all right, maybe... Get rid of this. That will repair on its own. Same thing with that one. Hmm, spending too much money. I'll see if I can get some more cash out of someone through diplomacy. Let's have a look. Skull takers, where? Oh yeah, they'll get wiped out wherever the hell they are. Cool. Who else? Clan Greedus. 
All right, we're going to trade agreement with them, so I guess that's fine. What is what? The Prince's Herald. Oh, 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 hello. I could be your paramour if you so wish. Hmm. Interesting. Let us. Oh, no! <laughs> They're going to die very quickly. Uh, okay, hang on, hang on. I think I've got a bunch of followers of that I can do to increase relationship with them really quickly. Lord of Slanesh. A mighty boon for the Dark Prince. An artifact of beguiling blasphemy. Okay, good, that's all of them. So that was an extra 45, I think. So let's get into 100, that's good. Yeah, cult form down here, that's good. They currently own the whole province. Yeah, I'm definitely not looking to pick a fight with Kairos right now. This can give me a temporary diplomatic bonus with the settlement owner. How's their army? You've... They don't have much. I think I'll wait before I do anything there. I think I'll wait. Alright, well, I've got enough money to get through the turn now, so that's good. Let's move on. Hang on, I need a hero not move. It shall be done. I serve. Do modern god factions have big economy problems? No, they don't have big economy problems. I'm just spending too much, that's all. I mean, with every single faction that you play, you can overspend, especially in the early stages of the campaign. Do you prefer more quality or qu quantity of magic items? Well, there's an argument to be made for both. If you have lots of quantity, you can always just fuse them for quality, but I definitely would much rather equip one good item than lots of crap items. I hate that trade agreements function just like non-aggression agreements. What's the point of the negotiation packs? It's just another way to boost relationship, really, with them. What is Carl Franz doing? Camera is just doing a big nod. Legend, do you know the Vassal exploit to get infinite money? Yes, I do, but it's boring, so I don't do it. The Dark Prince promises. Hmm. Nah. Who has the worst tech tree design? Probably Nurgle. I think Nurgle might have the worst tech tree in the game. It's terrible. At least last time I looked at it. It's like... 
plus one public order for this particular climate on a Wednesday. <laughs> plus one percent extra melee attack when... Oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's such a shit tech tree. There's hardly any good benefits in there. What? I'm not even close to you. Oh, you are so getting culted. Can Disciple Lords get defeat traits? If so, Draz's defeat trait for 10% faction-wide settlement income would be pretty cool. Um, I believe they can get defeat traits. The only problem is that um, if they die, you would lose the defeat trait. They're not immortal characters. Right, I think I see where all my money went. I just went just totally ham on Okay. I just went totally ham on just getting all of these uh cults going. I'd really like cults. You are in fail cost me money. Ecstasy. Exquisite All right, we have to take the Shrine of Assyrian first because I do not want Tyrion to have the this one here. Yeah, I don't want him to have that. I'm just curious. Over here, are you having public order problems because of corruption? Yes, he is. So if we have a look, is it 18? You got anything for me? Sildra Tor does, but not Ivress. Yeah, okay. I'm probably gonna have to fight a little bit at some point. Oh. That's not meant to do. Oh, that army's in a dangerous spot. Oh, this is interesting, because at the end of this turn, this army is going to be at war with Alariel, which means Alariel will be able to attack this army in order to draw that out. Interesting. Empire's tech tree is garbage. It's not the best tech tree by a long shot, but it's not garbage. There's some good stuff in the Empire tech tree. Yeah, I gotta fight him anyway. You said that bonus versus infantry large, slash large, are increasing melee attack and weapon strength. The question is, the weapon strength from the bonus go to base, weapon, or to AP? From my understanding, whatever the ratio is of base weapon strength to armor piercing that that character has prior to implementing the bonus versus larger infantry, that's how much... So, okay, let me let me just um, rephrase that. If a character has 50% armor piercing and 50% base weapon strength, and then you add in 10 extra ant, um, bonus versus large, then there'll be 10 armor pierce, sorry, 5 armor piercing and 5 non-armor piercing. So whatever the ratio is, they just keep that ratio. That's my understanding of it. Anyway, the weapon strength is usually not that big of a deal. It's usually the extra melee attack. Except in the case of um, other infantry. Infantry that get bonus versus infantry at large is actually quite good for the weapon strength. Because they've got low base weapon strength to begin with. A bit. Really want to thin out the. Uh... Oh god! Oh, I might be able to kick him down this hill. Charge. Haven't done this in a while. I okay, I think that worked. Move it. I think that was no working. Yeah, I wouldn't mind finding that phoenix, but I don't want to be getting shot while it's going. Oh, this is a good weapon. No! <laughs> no, get back here. Damn it, what a waste.
Yeah, it works, it works. We're kicking them down the hill. Some of them are dying when we kick them down the hill. You need to get more speed. The more speed you have and the more mass you have when you kick them down the hill. Nah, no, that was too gentle of the slope right there. When the Phoenix Guard unit gets to hell and they ask him how did they die, he said some big Slaneshi big dick demon kicked me down a hill. I broke my neck. Also, what's the idea behind all the demons? Aren't they valuably low in order resolve? Yeah, but I don't build auto resolve armies. I don't mind fighting all my battles manually. You know, you're kind of supposed to play the game. <laughs> I just, yeah, look, play however you want, but I, I don't build auto resolve based armies. I don't care about how a unit performs in auto resolve. I only care about how it performs manually. And demonets are pretty good. They're squishy, but they're they're strong. You shout damage. There we go. Oh, got a little bit stuck there. To get a uh, need to get a proper kill in, or else I'm not going to regenerate any health. No one faster. See, one of the big weaknesses of Slanesh is uh, low replenishment rate. Which is why I got to try to make sure in every battle it don't take so many casualties. It just takes too long to recover, and you really don't want to be in a situation where you just sit in a settlement for multiple turns. Recovering, that's what noobs do. And it's dumb. You shouldn't do it. Shouldn't take too much longer. They're falling to pieces. They're not without some damage. Oh, good. The archers are almost out of ammo. That's good. There is no difference between last settlement vassalization and seduction for Nakari, right? Because you are still getting seductive influence with your vassal. Right. There is a difference. Uh, taking their last settlement is technically better because if you seduce them, it costs um, it costs devotees to do that. Whereas it doesn't cost devotees to just capture their last settlement. And since I want my devotees for cults, I'm not really keen on subjugating them that way. And as I said before, I don't really want that many uh, high elf vassals, just like the the legendary ones. So I don't want Safari. I want to kill it. I want it to die. Some of them get back up. Not quite fast enough yet. Drop bombs on their own units. Nice. Yeah, 
Come at me, Phoenix. I want to fight you now. Of course, it's going to have to regenerate about four times before it actually dies. Expired. Oh, there's the army losses. Yeah, just run down these guys. Don't worry about that, Phoenix. Get my regen that way. Good. All right, good and full health. Nice. Why run into them? Is it to group them? Okay, so there's this thing that happens with infantry. If you kick an infantry unit down a hill hard enough, they'll actually die. So if you run... If the hill is particularly uh, steep, and you've got like a cavalry unit, and you charge hard enough into them, um, yeah, you can kill the entire unit by just, just kicking them down the hill. I've tuned in late. Has Legend changed how he does Super Chats? Uh, no. No, no. It's still the same as always. Oh, I can create a Dark Elf vassal here. Right, I can awaken them. Uh, I don't really want to do that. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. You actually gain 500 uh, disciples when you do it that way, as opposed to... Like, if I want to seduce these guys... Yeah, it costs 300 devotees to dominate them. So there is an 800... Uh, ...devotee difference between subjugating them this way and uh, doing it the, the, uh, the peaceful way. Savor their agony. How does the vassal money exploit work? Oh, I can already resolve this. Uh, the way it works is that you create a vassal. You create a vassal, and then immediately cancel. So you create a vassal by this means here, right? Their last settlement, you've beaten them, you subjugate them, makes a vassal. Then you cancel their vassal status, and then you just do it again, because when you create a vassal, look, I'll show you, they'll get some military back. So you beat them and you can just keep getting loot money. Also, when you create a vassal, you get replenishment. So if your army is strong enough that you actually replenish more than you lose when you take out a um, your, your vassal. Um, so you get replenishment. Actually, I'll sack it first. In the name of uh, you can just keep doing it over and over again because it doesn't actually use up any movement. Slice flame. So yeah, see how I didn't move? So if I wanted to right now, I could cancel his vassal status and just subjugate him again. So playing as Nakari, that is one way to get essentially an infinite number of devotees. I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do it. I could do it. I just don't want to. I don't need to. It'll destroy your reliability. So there we go. We have um, Tyrion under control now. And I'm going to put this in here. Pleasure God, look at them. Look what they did. Alright, we're gonna need these guys to get over here, get ready to fight. Alarial. Pursuit of ecstasy. Move out. Lord of Slash. 
Stalkers of the night. Exquisite decadence. Prince of pain. Okay. The tempt. Right, I'm gonna get rid of this health scourge unit. Will they disperse? And I'm gonna merge this marauder. I can't merge it, I'm just gonna disband it. And I'm gonna pick up two units of demons. So yeah, we've got this one here, Lord Recruit Rank plus one faction wide, plus extra control, that's good, I guess. And then over here, just go with money. Any saving your campaign soon? Watch your old school Realm Divide Shogun ones, they're top notch. Well, I don't really get sent in to me saving disaster campaigns, to be honest. Just don't get them sent in. And the ones that I do get sent in, it's usually people on easy difficulty that, like, lost the first battle and are like, Legend, save my campaign! You know, it's turn four. And they're just not interesting to, to cover those ones, but... I'm more than happy to do a saving disaster campaign. I just... I just don't get them. Is having a sub that much better than actually owning the full province? Well, it depends on what you... It depends on the subjugate, right? For one thing, I got 500 devotees, and Tyrion here will pump out loads of armies, which I'll be able to borrow those armies for free soon. So if we have a look at... at um, Yves over here, who we subjugated recently, I won't ever be able to borrow Eltharion's army, but I will totally be able to borrow this army here. It's just free units. Also, they are paying me money, and the settlement that they've got, who cares? It's just not that big of a deal. that important that's not important either all right yeah I did say I wanted to get more of that demonic inspiration yeah let's make them stronger okay yes from my master drink deep is there a reason you don't level up Lord's Heroes all at the same time, clicking through the roster at the top left of the screen? Yeah, I just, I don't know. Just, I just don't focus on it, that's all. It's not that important. Um, alright, which one is... Rorik Granite Hand. It's usually best to try to influence their faction leader, because that way if the faction gets wiped out, you still get to keep the Gift of Slanesh on them. Because that character is immortal. Unless they get confederated. Name it, and it shall be done. Extinction comes. My divine master. Does this count? Infiltrate yeah, it does. Blood. Well, that can yeah, well, that could be interesting. <laughs> Call it test. Interesting. Speak. My divine master. Name it, and it shall be done. Name it, and it the shall be grows. done. Uh, you know what? Maybe I have too many cults. Because each one of these is costing Speak. me 280 gold. <laughs> Hmm. They call to me. Yeah, maybe I'll hold off on the on the uh, cults for the time being. Name it, and it shall be done. I will alone. It is night. Okay, von Kost. Oh, that guy's already been done. My dying. prince. Bring me flesh to craft. Is that a Strigoi bloodline? Master. No, he's just a Strigoi ghoul king, not a bloodline, so he could end up getting killed. Your sin is my command. 
Oh, right, Tomb Kings are always immortal. We should make our way over there. So even if the faction gets wiped out, we'll always get the gift of Slanesh on them. Name it, and it shall be done. Oh, they took out Orion camp. Dance on, my divine master. The cult of endless delights. My divine master. You are Good. infertile. Well, that used up a lot of my money, but we have really established ourselves with a lot of um, devotees coming in. So, Gifts of Slanesh are currently giving us 75, and that'll increase next turn, because it doesn't take into account what we've already done this turn. Okay, over here. Yeah, we need cash. Really need to do that one. Devotees 200 doesn't really seem like that big of a deal now that I think about it. Pain for pleasure. How are we going for replenishment over here? Nah, don't. No, oh, let's do it because this is going to expire soon. Reducing upkeep cost is definitely good. What else we got? Slanesh corruption all provinces, not too bad. Yeah, a lot of the options here aren't amazing. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay. Yeah, we're not what fighting corn factions, that's pretty useless. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Mm -hmm. I wish I could just declare war on Safari, but we started off with a non-aggression pact with them, so I'm going to take huge reliability penalties if I do that, which is why I want Avalon to come and wipe them out. I'll subjugate them if they only own Port Elistor, but I want to get the White Tower of Hoa for myself. Okay, let's move on. What is the thought process for only giving vassal minor settlements? Do you want them just as fodder? Would they be more or less useful with a major city? Well, they would be more useful with a major city for sure. But then they would also... Then I wouldn't get that major settlement. And no vassal of mine is ever going to be as skilled on the campaign map as me. So I don't want to give them resources that would be better off in my hands. So I give them a settlement that doesn't really matter that much. Do you ever recruit Chaos Warriors chosen of Slanesh? Yeah, yeah. If I ever get to that point in the campaign, which I usually don't. I usually stop my campaigns after I've played them for about, I don't know, between 6 to 10 hours. I just get bored after that point. I don't play late campaigns. It's been a year since uh, Warhammer. Al Alario lost to Tyrion and Safari. Ah, oh, did she? Damn. Oh well. Uh, it's been a year since Warhammer 3 came out, and I really don't build Doomstacks in any of my campaigns, and yet the, the prevailing myth is that Legend of Total War, he always spams Doomstacks in all of his campaigns. It's a year old myth. It doesn't. It's not true anymore. Just don't build Doomstacks. Ever have light guidelines goals for your personal campaigns, or you just play the game till bored? I just play it till I'm bored, yeah. 
I find that um, setting up goals and stuff for um, live stream campaigns usually don't increase viewership, so I just don't bother. Whenever I'm done with it, I'm done with it. That's all there is to it. So that's the best way to go about it. I end up getting burnt out of the game really quickly if uh, I set rigid goals and then don't achieve them. Just, just, just play it until it's not fun anymore. It's not like I can't do a late campaign one. It's just not fun, that's all. Do any Chaos Dwarf Doom stacks so far get in your top 5 Doom stacks, not including hero stacks? I don't know at this stage. Maybe. I haven't really been focusing that much on Doom stacks <laughs> with Chaos Dwarfs. Yeah, freaking one. God be good. You have the nerve to stand be. Well, since he won over that way, maybe I should be swinging him around this way and going after Avalon from here. And I can trespass. Wait, don't I? I don't have military the access then. I do enjoy watching the debasement of others. Please grovel. Eight turns. Oh, I went broke. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, and I don't have any battles to do this turn. Oh, no. Whoops. I, I, I'm not ready for this. That's a tough battle. Oh, damn it. I made a whoopsie. Okay, I can get out of this if I get into the green. So, to get into the green... I disband some lords, that'll fix up my economy. Whoops. I made a big whoop whoop. Oh man, look at the Slanesh corruption here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go this way up through Tor Lear. Okay, so go this way. Because I really thought that Alariel would win there. I have to wait a little while before I... Okay, we're going to have to get rid of some of these guys. It's causing me financial problems. You can stay though. There we go. No more attrition. It's all good. Alright, if I go into Force March... I might be able to reach there next turn. Maybe. Ugh. Slanesh shows us a life without <laughs> Declare war nothing faction for money? Yeah, maybe. What now? Princes help Take what's theirs. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Fine. Okay, these guys here are almost ready to subjugate. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, they are ready to subjugate. And we could do it this way and not have to um, use up the devotees. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, well that got us some cash. That was a good idea. Alright, I need more cash. Need to make more money. If I'm gonna make that. Savor the agony. All right, no big deal. All right, are you ready to do a trade agreement yet? Yeah. No, they hate me. one to survive, you must meet your end. Well, once the military actions goes away, yeah. Look at this. See, this is what ends up happening when you vassalize a lot of different races. See. 
the treaties with the other races that I've been friends with, they're holding it against me, so I'm not, not able to get trade agreements with them. This is where the vassal system just isn't really that good with Nakari. Because the tribute that they give you is not really a big deal. Let me go with that. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do any uh, hero actions this turn. Got no money. Right, quest battle. That quest battle there would destroy my army. I should have been paying more attention to my income. Because at one point I had like 12,000, but I, I spent it all on bloody agent actions and didn't realize it. Do you still hate Ogre Kingdoms in battle? Uh, I don't believe I ever hated the Ogre Kingdoms in battle, so that's a... I don't agree with the premise of that question. Do I have a favorite quest battle? Not really. I wanted to fight him, but I just moved around over this way. <laughs> Alright, I need to swing back around. <laughs> Alright, Illyrian, you get a free pass now. Are you farming Marathi trait? No, it's only like turn 15, so I haven't had a chance to do that. But that would definitely help, for sure. Oh, look at that, they're abandoning their home to come and attack me. How cute. Okay, he's just about dead. Why couldn't they have declared war on me last turn? When I was, like, in a position to attack them. I didn't know they were going to do that. Alright, let's swing around over here. Just a yes. Yeah, I wasn't going to be able to make it there anyway. Duty is purpose. Eltharian's coming in to try and help. High Elven Archmage. Drink in my excellence. My new palace. I doubt that Tyrion is going to launch the attack on Port Elistor given the size of his forces. Absurd. This one's not going to be able to get to Shrine of Asuria. Oh, oh, I can take it this turn. I know how to do it. If I... Do this. Most privileged of Slanesh. And then onwards. Princess Herald. Yeah, 
There we go. Yep, easy. Definitely needs to be fought manually. Alariel sending another army from the left side. She might wipe out Tyrion. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, don't wipe out my stupid vassal. Yeah, I don't care if she wipes out Tyrion. Is the goal to vassal all the elves? No, not that's not my goal. My goal is to defeat the elves one way or another. Vassals are just... Maybe I'll make them, maybe I won't. I don't... Yeah. I don't like having minor faction vassals. They, they tend to be a bit useless on Legendary. All they end up doing is giving the AI experience. They like, build up a full stack and then they just throw it at the enemy. And then the enemy auto-resolve beat them. Take no damage and gain like five levels up. It's just like, no, that's... No, that's very bad. Bad vassal. There are a lot of downsides to having vassals. You gotta be very careful. Okay. Um, we're gonna wait for... Nakari, obviously. I might even get him to do the whole battle. I want this army to remain at full strength if possible. Wouldn't it be cool to have Chaos Lizardmen like Chaos Dwarfs? There are Chaos Lizardmen. They're called Dragon Ogres. No, they're not real Lizardmen, Mudgeon. Alright, Nakari. Can we beat the entire army with just you? Probably not. Come in and help. Hey, that's a nice looking hill you got there. That's a nice looking hill. Mind if I kick you right into a tree? We are in agreement. Move. This will do. We shall act. Charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice looking hill. That's a nice looking hill you got there. Okay, it doesn't work down that way. Snippity snap, get on with it. One's down the hill here. Okay. Uh, 4,700 damage, not too bad for them. Try to keep these in the rear, because that's part of the devotee army. I don't want it taking any damage if it can be avoided. 
Okay, enemy lords wounded. Go. Stop these at the front here. Of sensation. Time to charge. All right, maybe just keep behind this one unit there because it's a bit damaged. But these other ones here, they're gonna need to get ready to fight. Good, yeah, he's gonna take out these chariots, no problem. Okay, these ones need to get ready to charge. Another summon coming. Good, good, good. All right, time to charge in while they're distracted. Three more seconds. Come on, you can do it. So these ones around over here to take out those artillery. If he wipes this unit out here, he can get some healing. Yeah, we've got him on the run now. There he goes. Just waiting on that army losses. Three, two, one. There we go. Good. No damage done to the devotee army, which is what we wanted. Scum Saver did a two dollar super chat saying cheers. No, right, dude, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it.
yeah, we'll occupy that. It'll still take a little bit of attrition, I think. Because there isn't enough Slanesh corruption to sustain them fully. That's okay. See, this is what I was talking about, about uh, the skill over here, right? Disciples of Excess. Summon Disciple Army Size plus 20%. I can't make it any bigger than this, so it's not a very useful skill. Bad wins of magic here. It's 8 a.m. Why aren't you sleeping? Who the fuck is asleep at 8 a.m.? Get the hell up. You should be up at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it's not 8 a.m. here. It's 3 p.m. Who the hell fucking Names sleeps until 8 a.m.? Get a job. <laughs> Says the guy who plays games for a living. Infiltrate their blood. Your sin is my command. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can... Oh, uh, do I really want to spend all my bloody money on agent actions? I really need to increase my income. Did you play Age of Van Wonders 4? If so, what's your opinion? I did not play Age of Wonders 4, sorry. Wasn't interested in it. Shall be done. How long have you been back to streaming? I have not. I'm not back to streaming. I just just do a stream every now and again. My I'm not back. Master. Still very much retired. Okay. All right. Well, we got a green income, so we should be okay. To keep that going. And we should have enough movement to get to the White Tower of Hoeth next turn, so that's good. And if the Avalon forces are making their way down here, then they're not going to be over this way, so this will be a way to get to the Guyan Vale. Let's go. Saturday morning shift. I'm not at work. This isn't work. I can turn off the stream whenever I want. <laughs> I only turned it on because I wanted to today. I don't. If I don't want to stream, I will go months without streams. So, and I have gone months without streams, but I've been enjoying them lately by doing it a certain way. So, you know, if I'm enjoying the streams, you'll see more of them. But if I'm not enjoying the streams, like if people piss me off. I will go months without a stream, so just keep that in mind. Um, I did an MX sixty-five dollar super chat. Uh, would you still thank me for the super chat if I were a worm? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? I'm not gonna discriminate. Thanks for super chat. I'll take the money. Did I puppet Tyrion? Yep. Now I'm fairly sure we can't borrow Alistair, can we? Yeah, I can't borrow I can't borrow legendary lords. So yeah, Tyrion's getting ready over here to defend against this, which I think he'll be ready for, because I don't think they'll launch the attack next turn, but he's got two legendary lords compared to their one. Yep, 
if you come back over here. Okay, no replenish. Sorry, no attrition from here because we got the uh, Slanesh corruption at 100%. So what I can do is just have this devotee army sit here and just look after it. It's only going to cost me 20 devotees per turn, which is not a big cost. This guy here is just trying to keep up with Nakari. It's too fast. Well, there goes my cult. But I already demolished it, so it's all good. I'm glad he's enjoying these every now and again. I don't know how anyone can deal with chat all the time. Well, you take the good with the bad. If you if you just look at the bad, you can look at the chat sometimes and think it's an absolute nightmare. But vast majority of the time, the chat's pretty well behaved. It's just every now and again you get some idiot that thinks that they deserve everybody's attention and they just need to go away. And it takes just a little bit of effort to get rid of them. You either ignore them until they go away or you just outright ban them. But the vast majority of people are perfectly fine. The thing is, with a lot of a lot of streamers that have like maybe 20, 30 viewers, the reason why their chat's a lot more stable than mine is because oftentimes their streams are the same people every single time, so they know how to behave. Whereas, I do tend to have a lot of people that their first time viewing me might be today. Which means they don't know how to behave. Which means I need to smack him into place. And that just happens a fair bit. Okay, what we're going to do is... I'm going to trick him. Of course I'm going to trick him. And the way we're going to do that is set up over here, and then run over here. And then when they've moved over here, I'll, <laughs> I'll run these guys in through that way. Oh, what the? Okay. What the? What the? They literally did. What the fuck? They deploy. They deployed in the wrong zone. <laughs> what? Yeah, this is what I was talking about before. They can shoot you through the, the thing like that. Mm. <laughs> How are they doing that? Like, they're not shooting me too much. Come on. Hurry up. But yeah, another thing is that you... If you go to the Reddit, you'll see a lot of people complain about how I run the stream. But I think part of the issue is that some people like to just troll like crazy. And I just won't put up with their shit. And usually those are the people that run off to Reddit and say, Oh, Legend's so toxic, he wouldn't let me say the N-word in the chat. Something like that. <laughs> Something stupid. Yeah, people that get people that banned on streams go to Reddit to complain about how the streamer was toxic and they were basically a victim. But usually get um, pretty felt pretty pretty decent amount of warning before you get banned. Uh, Michael Maglinga did a five dollars super chat. Glad to catch a stream. Your videos got me into Warhammer, and I've been enjoying it immensely. Cheers. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for your su first super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, Nakari, could you finish that one off? Because I need to get his soul. Any point to use mods? Uh, don't usually use mods. I'm not not completely opposed to it. I just I just don't usually use mods. I don't find that they increase my enjoyment of the game. It's just peer pressure that forces my hand sometimes. I think that the existence of mods is really good for the community, but I personally don't use them. Perfection. The serpent strikes. 
Alright, I need to take her out of here. She's too badly damaged now. Yeah, one of the big problems with Nakari in terms of dueling these small characters is he just keeps knocking them down. Just stand still and smack her. That's it. That's what you want to see. So, oh, I didn't see much damage to do. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. She wasn't taking damage from Soul Siphon while she was on the ground. So whatever your your um, patch notes were saying that they take damage while on the ground, complete and utter bullshit. She was immune from damage, all types of damage, when she's on the ground. Sometimes the patch notes are complete and utter lies. Oh, this is a nice big hill you got here. <laughs> just need to get more troops over here. Oh my god, look at the damage. Just like wind of speed. Alright, let's get somewhat organized over here and start bringing in some troops to attack from this way. If you could come up over here and just not get shot, that would be good. Although, to be fair, I don't actually remember reading that in the patch notes. It's just some people have been saying that that's the case. It's probably a stupid question, but do you have to break the gate before you can cap a point, don't you? I flew Meow straight to the main cap and AoE while the whole army couldn't and couldn't cap. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, flying units can't cap. Meow Ying can't cap even if she's on gr the ground, even if she's in her non-dragon form, because you could just fly straight to a point and then and then just transform back into a human. So Miao Ying cannot capture points. One way to have a look at it. Okay, see my cursor? Do you see how... Oh, I need to slow this down. Do you see the little image right underneath the cursor that looks like a hammer with a like a laurel wreath around it? That means Nakari can capture points. If he couldn't capture points, there'd be a little X through it. Unfortunately, I don't have any units in this army that can't capture points. But yeah, that's what was going on. Yeah, Miao Ying can't capture points. Neither can Zhao Ming. But did you know that there are a handful of summons in the game that can capture points? Just a handful. That they didn't uh, tick off or whatever. Armila shouldn't be too far off now. 
trying to get him some regen. Good, you got some. Come on, move it. Alright, I need him to wipe out a unit so that he can get a little bit of health so that he's at full strength next turn. Which summons? I know Gordas Hobgoblins can, but who else? Oh, I didn't actually know his Hobgoblins can. Okay, so it mostly comes down to like unique summons. So as an example, the Sisters of Twilight, you know that item that, that they can get, which allows you to summon like a Way Watcher? Well, that Way Watcher can, summon, uh, can cap. And the thing is that unit stalks. So if you have a flying character, fly towards like a capping point when there's nothing there, pop down those... Um, way watchers and then just leave that area that way watcher will oftentimes capture the settlement without the AI realizing what's going on I've noticed that the legendary hero for the drowned can't capture points either really that, sh that guy should be able to capture points what units normally can't capture points? Anything that can fly can't capture points, and anything that is technically a summon can't capture points. Can't some zombie summons cap too? I don't think so. Uh, Mithril Blade 04 did a photo of check. Glad to catch a stream. I play Tomb Kings and very hard, very hard. Any tips for making the jump to legendary? Just practice, dude. That's all you need. Yeah, I'm not going to subjugate them. So, I will occupy. Just, just comes down to practice. If you're playing very hard difficulty and you're finding it to be relatively easy, you're not struggling with your campaigns, then you're probably ready for Legendary. The jump between Very Hard and Legendary isn't insane. Seeking prey. I, it depends on your skill level. Like, if you're handling Very Hard campaign difficulty, and you're finding it easy, you'll probably not notice too much difficulty with Legendary. But if you're playing Very Hard campaign, and you're barely managing it, and then you go to Legendary, you'll probably find it, like, absolutely intolerable. But it also depends on playstyle, since Legendary difficulty is de definitely a campaign difficulty where cheeses thrive. So if you're really anti-cheese, you might find legendary difficulty intolerable. But you won't know until you give it a shot. And the thing is, there are some legendary difficulty campaigns which will be easier than some campaigns on hard difficulty. So for example, Boris Ursus on hard difficulty is probably more difficult than, say, um... Arcane on the Ever Chosen on Legendary, as an example, or Bellicor on Legendary. Most privileged of Slanesh. The Tempter Lord. Okay, I don't want any more units right now. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want that. Slanesh demands. Alright, let's upgrade the Shrine of Kurnos, because we need to get that tier 3 building so that I can improve a certain tech. If Alariel comes swinging down over this way, that could be a bit of an issue. But we've got 100 Slanesh Corruption here, I should put a Devotee Army in. However, I can't create a Devotee Army unless I recruit some units here. So to create a Devotee Army, it requires 10 units, so let's, let's try to hurry up and get this. Yeah. If I put 10 units in here, I'll be able to create a devotee army that can just hold this position indefinitely. Just in case Alariel does go up that way. I need more cash. Don't 
stop. Artisan of pain. Yep. Okay, and I think that's all we need to do. Let me just check for some more cash from somewhere. Black hearted. Hmm. Marathi's beating you. So I think I'll leave her alone. The that one alone. Yeah, okay, I let's dreamt of a time when I flew across the sky. Excuse me, let's um let's negotiate with the pinnacle. The dragon blooded Slaneshi Herald. Yeah, it would be good to get a confederation with these guys. We're not far away from it. In fact, this might. Hang on, hang on. I got an idea. No, 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 no. Hang on. I got an idea. I got an idea. This can sometimes work. Whenever you change your alliance status with a uh, faction, it'll gravitate. It'll change the amount of relations, so if we can just get some of these Slaneshi mutants. Are they all... Looks like they've all been assigned. Okay. I thought I had some left in reserve. Your divine notice shall one day be... Let us celebrate. Okay, that didn't make any difference. Alright, we can see Kairos is on his way here. I definitely want to be friends with Kairos. No, don't go this way. Go that way. Go that way or go this way. Don't fight Slanesh. Luckily, Zinch is not super strong in order resolve, but I worry that this Slanesh faction over here will just run away. Like, they've got really good defenses there. Kairos might also send in a lot of force over here. Because mm. I want the whole province in a confederation. That'd be nice. But uh, we'll just see if that even happens. All right, let's move on next turn. Ask Kairos to join war. He won't join any of my wars because he hasn't met anyone. He won't. He won't do it. There's no point even asking him. He won't do it. If he's not at war with anyone, he might do it. But right now, I, don't, I really doubt it. What's the typical playstyle for Slanesh? Hammer and Anvil? It's actually Spear on Spear. Yeah, Spear on Spear. You want to... Uh, crossing Swords? You know? Long pole on long pole. Especially if those long swords are kind of like not fully like hard. Just like just like slop like slap against each other. You know? A bit of this, but um, you're playing Pokemon Warhammer D Edition. Got to catch all legendary lords. Uh, I can't confederate any legendary lords. Oh, I do mean like subjugating them. Yeah, okay. Do you know why some Providence capitals, like Kunlan or Jungles of Cheyenne, only let me build Chaos Altar instead of a city? 
because I'm assuming you're playing as Warriors of Chaos, not every single settlement is a dark fortress, or every single major settlement. There's even a settlement up in the Chaos Wastes that isn't a dark fortress. coming in. Anyway, I've got my devotee army that should be able to handle it. Is it possible to have like three-way battles with three different factions and never see it? No, not possible. It was uh, The last time that was possible was Medieval 1. That was the last time it was possible to do that. Gotta hurry up and get this stuff sorted so that I can. Actually, can I change the edict here for more recruit slots? No. Oh, but there is this one here. Recruit. Nah, I don't. I don't just leave it. Birds being noisy. Alright, they got a military presence of five. There's three regions in the province, which means 15. Even the law master there it is. Okay, so that means there's probably no one sitting at Tor Saroy. Far beneath an archmage. Divine immortality. So having Nakari ruin dwell this should be okay. We're not gonna lose any units. Ah, oh, this region sucks for winter magic. But legend, what if there's Skaven there? Exquisite decadence. Next destination. Drink in my excellence. All right, what happened over here? No! No! <laughs> well, they'll probably confederate Your now. Yeah. Shall ah. one day be rewarded. Is it even worth it now? Damn it, I don't get the whole province. And Zinch Corruption is going to make things... Ugh. Should have let me do it till your last turn. Uh, buying this... He'll never sell that settlement. Never, never, never. Zinch Corruption is... Yeah, getting out of control. Yeah, it's no longer worth it. Oh, well. Didn't cost me anything. I, I didn't pay any, them any money. It's not worth it anymore. If I can't get the whole province, the Zinch corruption will just eventually get out of control, and I won't be able to. I just, yeah, I won't be able to do anything about it. Or, or, I could just sell them to Kairos. Yeah, I'll just sell the service to Kairos. Yeah, okay. There are letters. It's free real estate. Okay, now if we have a look at Kairos, he yes. is... How's he feeling towards this? Alright, what if I gave you... Hang on, hang on. Why did it bring me over here? Oh, it's this capital. Okay, Castle of Splendor. Oh, there's some decent stuff in here. Alright, public order is... Okay, so lynch corruption is only going down by minus one. Maybe I can maintain public order here. Oh, that's that's the thing I needed. The Temple of Decadence. I needed that so that I could research that. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay. I don't need this. I don't need this. Oh, 
<laughs> okay, hang on. Uh. Okay. Okay, we can, we can make a trade. We can make a trade. Alright, so he wanted this one here. The Altar of Facades. Oh, uh, yeah. Because it's got a lot of important buildings. For some reason. Um, Crucible of Delights. I'd be more inclined to get rid of that one. Let's be friends. Good. Now the Slanesh corruption's going down, but the Zinch corruption's still. Sorry, the Slanesh corruption's going up. Right. Then we need the Crucible of Delights. So. <laughs> mm. He won't give that away, not yet. He might give it away at some point. That actually kind of worked out for us. How about that? Hmm. That should be here. That actually worked out for us. And now we have a friend. Okay, I do have um, confederation penalties, but they've made that less severe over time now. Alright, I need you to stand outside the settlement, Nakari, and you go in here. Uh, Vimarain became a member for 16 months. Hi, Legend. Seen any interesting movies lately? Uh, I don't watch many movies lately. Uh, I watched Wakanda Forever. It was alright. That was, that was probably the last... Yeah. Oh, this one. Right, 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 Um. Sleek. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I just can't really think of anything. Yeah, come around over here. Every step Just a Alright. That's all good. Well, it's good now I don't need to build that other building, and we've got that tech going. So over here... This is definitely a good building. Proliferate, proliferate cults cost reduced by 2%. Also give us a little bit of control. When control is above 25... It provides devotees per turn. The thing is, with this one, if you get the control below 50, you get more money. Our devotees is fine. This one over here, we can use that to actually reduce... Yeah, let's, let's get that, actually. Oh, but I still want to build that building for the sake of getting more cultists. Which we don't need to do right now, so yeah, just... Just go with this one here because it provides money. I like money. Alright, let's set up some more gifts. Name it, and it shall be done. Infiltrate their Good. Blood. A little bit for that. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Oh, hang on, here's some construction needs to be done. Get some money up in there. Just gonna check my provinces, see the worst one. This one, this one's this one here, and it's it's hanging on. It's fine. Okay, let's move on. Should I repair this? Uh, it'll repair it on its own over time. We don't make a ton of cash out of that. Alright, 
XP based off kills was a good fix. I actually don't like the change that they made to experience. I liked how it was to begin with. That the experience you get is based on... How big the victory was. Like how big the enemy army was. Because what can end up happening now... Is that you can go up against an enemy... And you actually... Like it's really bad against single entities. So let's just say you go up against a right of primeval glory army and you have a hell of a fight, but you don't actually kill any of the dinosaurs and they just run off the battlefield with like 1% health. You will get no experience for that battle. Now that's of course a very rare and extreme case, but that's a weakness to this new system. Also, it greatly benefits order resolve over fighting battles manually, which you shouldn't do. You should try to incentivize people fighting battles manually, which is why you have so many players now just order resolving their entire campaigns. <laughs> so, Creative Assembly goes to all this effort to try to make the battles the best part of the game and then give you every incentive to just dodge them. Uh, Sac City is not as useful in Wormit 3 as it were in Wormit 2. Depends on the faction. For some factions, Sac City is useful. So, for example, for Corn, you can use that with really small armies to just get the bloodletting up by just fighting a battle every single turn. But in order for gaining experience, it's not really worth it. But if you're doing Sac Cities for items, that could be useful. Again, depends on the situation. So, it could be useful for the Chaos Dwarfs to have Sac Cities with. Factions like the Skaven, so that they can get lots of labor. When did the XP change? I didn't even know. It was before Immortal Empires came out. It was a long time ago. Also, hey Mercy, how's it going to do? Nick Cogswell says, I love you. I love OU you too. <laughs> uh, what legendary lords do you find the most fun with the most replayability? Um, Skaven, pretty good. Pretty good for that. That's out of that, I'm not sure. Yeah, they want to go the long way around, try to look for an undefended settlement. No bravery among these AI. Thorian's trying way too hard to try to get a settlement. Because <laughs> I won't be able to just buy it off him afterwards. Alright, if we have a look over here. With Kyra, the settlement here. At least the... the um... So what's going on with this? Oh my god. Zinch Corruption plus 15? Characters, building, events. What? God damn it, that's going to be a really big problem for us. I need to, I need to get him out of this province. This oh god, it's even worse. And we'll see it clearly in hindsight. Hmm. Alright, well he's not really willing to make any more trades right now, so we're just going to have to wait that out. Public order in the province is... It's okay, we're sort of managing. Is there a building that spreads Slanesh corruption in adjacent provinces? This one here gives us Slanesh corruption, but not in adjacent provinces. Maybe it's this one here. Yeah, that's the one that does it. Yeah, Zinch is really good at spreading corruption. 
Let's go with money. Okay amount of money from that. Pretty expensive building though. Alright, I'll just leave it. Well, even if this hits a hundred, it'll only be a minus ten public order penalty. That's not the worst ever. I can manage that. Master Come, come. Prince of Good, that'll get him to the 10 that he needs so that he can start spewing out devotee armies. Alright. Yeah, I've got to stop Eltharion from capturing any of these settlements. I don't think he'll go for the guy in Vale, because that army is just not going to be able to do it. What I could do is have this lord come and back him up. <laughs> and sure that he basically loses. Alright, uh, alright. Well, let's firstly take Tor Saroy. We can probably order resolve this time. Yeah, it's not great. We could have done better, but that'll do. You won't get a moment's peace. Oh, right. They got them for five turns as well. Damn it. Savor the agony. March with the Prince of Chaos. A mighty boon. Okay. All right, we've got forces coming down this way. I don't think they'd be able to launch the attack here straight away, but I think we should think about getting a devotee army here to protect the port. So what I want to do is recruit a lord and just get some extra defenses up in here. Hmm. Because this guy is needed here at the moment to deal with this. Are they at war with the My people those guys? Have yeah, they're, no, they're not. Okay. Alright, let's have a look in diplomacy, see what's going on. Would you say Slanesh is one of the most cheesable factions worth the most cool faction abilities gameplay? So many crazy things they could do. Uh, they're up there, for sure, yeah. And Morbidus. Alright. Let's get some money out of them. What is what? Feared by all. Windshaper. Who calls? Valiant Lord. Speak. Right, we're still slightly gaining some stuff with um, with Marathi there. Skeggy like us. Enter then. Yeah, they're just about dead anyway. They're actually breaking out of my control. Huh. The four token. Lord of fear. Alright, that seems to be all I can do this turn. Let's we'll see if we can do some construction and then just move on. Drink deep of the agony. Affirmation. Hey, Legend, what campaign do you think is best for a player that enjoys ranged artillery armies? Vampire counts! <laughs> I 
Let's see if I can get another try on Carl Franz if possible. You are in Good! We have gifted Carl Franz. Cool. Alright, and let's move on. We dedicate this carnal bloodshed to Slanesh. Have I met Azazel yet? No, I haven't really been looking to go and do that. Alright, good, they went north. Can you subjugate his Azel? I think so, but I've never tried it. Hi Legend, do you think that Warhammer 3 is now better than Warhammer? You know what? I think Total War games are better than Total War games. <laughs> do you know what color is better than blue? Blue. Sorry mate, I, you got, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific than that. I mean, I'm assuming you mean, what is Warhammer 3 better than Warhammer 2? That's what I assumed that's what you meant, but you should have said that. And I'll wait for you to do that. No, you know what? I think what you mean is, is Warhammer 3 now better than Warhammer 1? Yes, it's better than Warhammer 1. Yeah, I think you meant Warhammer 1. I think so too, yeah. Now I'm just interpreting that correctly, I think. Yes, yeah, it's, it's better than Warhammer 1. Finally. It's finally better than Warhammer 1. Will we ever get totally wasted Total War? I don't know what that is. Saxapon did a $5 super chat. Hey Legend, do you think yellow is better than the color yellow? <laughs> no, dude. Without the question. Without a question, no. <laughs> Thanks, super chat. Drunk Total War, of course. Me doing like a drunk, drunk live stream. I don't drink anymore, so no. I haven't touched alcohol in like a year, so I don't drink. Gave it up. Not that it was ever really a pastime of mine, but I just decided I didn't want to drink anymore. Shogun 2 is still awesome. Would you consider playing a campaign legend? Probably not. No, I mean, if you want to watch me play Shogun 2, I've got a couple of campaigns on the channel. You can just watch those. Uh, but I don't really have any personal interest in playing Shogun 2 anymore. I don't play it in my spare time. I don't have it installed on the computer. Um, I don't have any particular nostalgia for it. I don't dislike the game. I think it's a good game. I don't know if I'm going to get there in time. Oh, maybe if I bring that other guy over here with a devotee army, maybe they can do it. Or maybe I could just peace... No, they won't peace out with me. 
How is Nakari so far? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a decent campaign. Reasonable challenge, not the easiest, not the hardest. What do you think needs to change for Warhammer 3 to be better than Warhammer 2? The AI. And get rid of a lot of the bugs and stability issues. I think the AI is the big thing holding it back. My obsession. Okay, I know what to do. Seeking pleasure. Ecstasy awaits. I will oh, it's only size 10. I thought it would be bigger than that. Maybe I maybe the size can't exceed the uh Hmm. Okay, well, whatever the case is, you go to mismount and help defend that. Hey, that's still better than nothing to defend against this. Because that's 18 units versus our 16 units. That's not too bad. Can usually overcome those odds. This guy here will not peace out, will he? No, no way. Dwarves typically don't peace out. Not unless you beat the crap out of them. Could you join war against these guys here? For what if I offered to join war with Tyrannoch? Who are basically defeated. Alright, we'll do that. <laughs> Tyrannoch only has a gate settlement left, so that's not going to come back to haunt me, I think. And yeah, if Noctilus could just take out those guys for me, that would be a big help. can see Eltharion really trying to push for a settlement out this way. He's, he really wants it. I don't want him to have any. Don't you find the pop-ups not showing annoying? Oh yeah, for sure. Of course they're annoying. Doesn't matter that much if they recapture Tor Soroy, so. Let's get rid of that. Don't know if there's an army in this area. I think there is, but I'm not sure. Hey, Legend, do you play Three Kingdoms anymore? I don't think I've played Three Kingdoms since 2019. I never really got that into it. Like, I played it a little bit on launch, and then I stopped playing it and never picked it back up, so. I think the point where I never played Three Kingdoms ever again was actually at Eight Princes. I don't think I ever played it after Eight Princes DLC. Like, I played a couple of hundred hours of Three Kingdoms, and I enjoyed my time playing it. And then it kind of got to the point where I was sort of not enjoying it anymore, and so I stopped. So that way I've got nothing but positive experience with that game. But I have no desire to go back to it. Uh, clearly, Cody did a $25 super chat. Hello from Los Angeles. Big fan. Keep up the great work. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for your first super chat. Do you know how to spawn devotee armies every turn as long as you travel between provinces? Yeah, by recruiting a new lord, just transferring the army into that lord. Yeah, I know how to do it. Come on, dude. I think I don't know how to play the game. <laughs> yeah, you just transfer the army into another lord and then get them to pop down a disciple army. Now, I don't have unlimited disciples or devotees, so I can't really do that just yet. Alright, this way. Let's go. It's a reasonably large garrison. Oof. No, no, get this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. Hey Legend, have you played Age of Wonders 4? No, I haven't played Age of Wonders 4. I'm contractually obligated to only play Total War games with Creative Assembly. If I if I ever play a non-Total War game, they'll sue me. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. What games are you playing in your off time these days? Life training good? Yeah, life's good. Um what games am I playing in my off time? 
Uh, NO 1800, as always. Uh, let's see. A little bit of Valheim, just waiting for more content to come out for that. Uh, I was playing some Rift Breaker, that's good. And I'm still playing some Chaos Dwarfs in my spare time. They're actually really fun. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised by how many people are asking me about Age of Wonders. There's so many people. Apparently Creative Assembly wouldn't touch you with a 39 and a half foot pole. Uh, no, that's not true. That's not true. I mean, I'm definitely not the, one of their favorites, by any means. Why would I be? I give them a lot of shit. Uh, but they're definitely not avoiding me. Like, I still, I still talk to CA every now and again. Things are a little bit better now than it was a couple of months ago. A little bit better. They're giving me regular updates about what's going on. Which is good. That's kind of all I asked for. So, I'm... I'm not, like, especially unhappy with them right now. But my expectations with them is also basically zero. Don't expect anything from them. So anything that I do get is bonus. You know what they should do? They should make a um, Charge. like a spin-off game, and called Nakari Faster Pasta, where you're a um, like a pizza delivery guy, but you're Nakari. I don't know. If it's... <laughs> By the lake. There is only two states legend can be in: unhappy and not unhappy. <laughs> That's, you're not you're not entirely wrong about that. Well, let me tell you, not unhappy is better than being unhappy. So, hey, when it comes to creative assembly development, they can only ever be shit or not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Would you say Creative Assembly did a good job? No, they did a bad job. What well, job? Did they do a good job? Well, they didn't do a bad job this time. <laughs> so what I'm hoping here is by capping all those other points, hopefully they're going to be quite distracted. Quick, you need to deliver that pizza. <laughs> no, this isn't steep enough. All I'm doing is distracting them by doing this, which is all I need to be doing. Charge. 
Why do they keep running around like that when I play they always go for my lord? Uh, it might be the battle difficulty. I actually think that the... Okay, so I've been having a little bit of a look at the battle difficulty differences, and what, I, what I've been noticing is that the AI is actually dumber on very hard battle difficulty than it is on, like, normal battle difficulty. Because on normal battle difficulty, the AI will shoot at small targets, and they won't, like, goof around the same way they do on very hard. But on very hard battle difficulty, they just get, like, straight up cheats. So you could argue in some cases that in some situations, especially when you're using, like, hero-heavy armies, playing on normal battle difficulty is actually more difficult than on very hard battle difficulty, just because the AI is so stupid on very hard battle difficulty. Because they're trying so hard not to get cheesed, that basic tactics just completely destroy them. You are in very hard, very hard? Oh, okay, well then I have no explanation for it then. Yeah, don't come back. Don't come back. <laughs> CA didn't do a good job on the AI. CA did a fucking awful job on the Warhammer 3 AI. Absolutely awful. Let me tell you about where uh, Creative Assembly did a good job in Warhammer 3. Faction design, except for Nurgle. <laughs> Faction design is top notch in Warhammer 3. Like, what they've done with the Chaos Dwarves with Korn, with the Warriors of Chaos rework. This is areas where Creative Assembly has a lot of strengths. The Siege rework. Trash. Absolute trash. The uh, narrative campaign for Realms of Chaos. Obviously, complete and utter trash. Sound design is pretty good. I don't like the Blood rework. Uh, blood pack. I think it's a really good blood pack. I selected some troops, did I? Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> shit, I didn't know it was here. Thanks for letting me know. I wouldn't have noticed. Shit, it's gonna... Oh, good thing I've got the Unbreakable banner on it. <laughs> I forgot how bad Dark is. Oh, yeah, the Dark Elves. Holy crap. Yeah, that's so bad what they do with the Dark Elves. I like Minor Settlement Battles, hate World ones. Yeah, I feel exactly the same way. I actually quite like the design of the Minor Settlement Battles for the most part. There's a few Minor Settlement layouts that I think are really badly designed, but most of them I actually quite like attacking and defending. Just not every single battle, you know? But World Settlement Sieges are universally bad across the board. There isn't a single World Settlement Siege that I think is good. Every single one of them is trash. They can be fixed. But a year on, Creative Assembly has done literally nothing to fix them. What do they do with the Dark Elves? I just hate the, the slave system for Dark Elves. It's boring. Like, if they just gave the Dark Elves the labor system that the Chaos Dwarves have, I'd probably be happy with it. Like, just copy-paste it straight over. Make it province to province, make it so you can shift them around. You know... Because the, the labor system of the Chaos Wars is actually fun to use. Because you're actually doing something. You're not just like, just looking at numbers go up. Oh, 
But I absolutely despise what they did with um with the Dark Elf Slave system. Absolutely hate it. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Hi, Elvin Archmage. Okay. Well, we've got the guy in Vale, which isn't a really good settlement for us. What should we do here? Okay. Okay, keep that, keep that, and don't build anything to us, or I might lose it over the end turn. Okay, if I recruit a new lord here, I can create another devotee army next turn. How many devotees per turn are we getting? 110. This guy's already been recruited. I will be okay, that'll make sure the devotee army is a bit bigger. Because, yeah, the amount of devotees you pay is not based on the size of the army. It's just an existence of a devotee army will always consume 20. So I might as well try to make him a full stack. Funny thing is that devotee army is actually stronger than this one. Alright, let's see if we can get some more devotees, because they're so bloody good. Name it, and it shall be done. Infiltrate good. Blood. Give us a bit extra per turn. My divine master. Oh, there's a landmark here. Oh, the Ogham Stones? Eh, yeah, they used to be better. Vigilant. Name it, and it shall be done. You are in hurt. Good, okay, that'll do. Alright, let's do some construction and move on to the next turn. Okay, last time. Do you have a bug that slash corruption does not contribute towards seductive influence? I don't know, I don't really check that stuff. Lord of Slanesh. Yeah, sorry, I haven't Most checked it at all. Privileged of Okay, still need more cash. Let's see, Miss Nar could use some cash. I'm assuming I'm not going to lose it. Okay, and let's move on. Uh, how are things going with Kairos? Let's see if we can finagle that territory away from him. I think we need to get really high relations with him if we want to snatch that away. Oh, look at that. He's actually moved one of his armies over here to sit in, in this area. In fact, I think that's Kairos himself. <laughs> that's probably why he doesn't want to give it up. Uh, I think he doesn't have enough enemies. Alright, well, just give it some time and it's likely that these guys here will declare war on him. Ooh, okay, he might declare war now on somebody else. Okay, here's someone. Alright, let me just see if I can get him to go to war with... We have... How about that? Yeah, they... The chances of you getting them to go to war with someone decreases the more wars that they're in. And also, how, based how strong they are. Now here's the thing, because he likes us, he might sometimes use the changing of the ways to actually benefit us. That is possible. Ah oh, shit, it's four o'clock. I gotta start wrapping up soon. Stream for nearly seven hours. Is it possible to get Slanesh Blade with Nakari and IE? I don't think so. Actually, let me just check in victory conditions. No, you don't get that. Right, let's move on to the next turn, see what happens.
Well, good job, Eltharion. You actually won. Looks like his army got wrecked, though. And this is why vassalizing a legendary lord is good, because they get like huge order resolve bonuses, so they're not constantly given the AI loads of experience. Whereas if the same size army was commanded by just a regular lord, they would have just instantly lost that. You can't even get it as the Wood Elves anymore, Big Sad. Well, they never had... Oh, that's not good. They never could get the Blade of Slanesh. They'd get the Witstealer Sword. Which was shit anyway. You shouldn't have ever picked it up. It was a bad sword to get. Yeah, in Warhammer 2, the Wood Elves used to have an event that they could get the Witstealer Sword. Which is Nakari's sword. Um, but it was awful. It was really bad. I really like Tomb Kings in Warhammer 3, I found them boring in 2. Tomb Kings are better in Warhammer 3 than they were in 2, yeah. Most of the Mad did a 5 dollars chat. Thanks heaps for continuing the streams here and there, and dropping the knowledge on us. Have a coffee on me. Alright, thanks dude. I appreciate that. Thanks for super chat. Also, you shouldn't be super chatting for me. To me. Corruption nowadays means nothing, so the sword would be okay. Yes! In Warhammer 3, the Witstealer Sword, as it was presented in Warhammer 2, would be okay in the um, Wood Elves. That is true. But in the context of Warhammer 2, that sword was terrible. Ah, good. Noctilus took him out. Wait, did he? I think he did. Yeah, it's gone. As well. Take them out with the Devotee Army. Or just get a peace treaty with them. So, Kairos, something happened over here. You switched a settlement with them and gave it to yourself. Did you also declare war on them? Yes. Okay. Game, now, no let's be good friends. Oh, that's gone down a little bit. No, it hasn't. Okay, just curious about that stuff. Well, he should take his army that's sitting over here and move it over this way now that he's actually at war with someone over here. So that'll be good. To reduce the amount of corruption in the area. Eltharion got pretty badly beat up. He's going to go get some rest. Carrick Zifflin go? Well, they're not here anymore. Okay. 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 Alright, so if we transfer these units over to Shmiar, and then just get rid of you. Yeah, we can make another devotee army. 
disciple army, but we should try to get this to 20 Let first. Oh, I need some more money. An irresistible sensation. Hmm, how did they retreat? Oh, right, because their turn came after Noctilus. That must have been it. Depravity reigns. Is there a reason you stream at that time now? You mean this time? I just stream whenever it's convenient for me now. I don't worry too much about tryharding the, the like, algorithm. So That's all. Okay, I need a little bit of cash. Flay their souls. Heralds of the dark. Courtesan of the pleasure And then I can recruit Good, that'll get us to 20 so I actually can create a devotee stack that's full Because they're good for defending your territory in really high Slanesh corruption areas you know, It just costs devotees which Diamond doesn't. I should really be going down to the Tomb Kings. They're the best ones for disciples. Name oh, crap. And it shall be done. <coughs> because they're always immortal. So they can't be killed. Even if their faction what gets wiped out, they'll still provide it. Require? Name it. And it shall be done. Hmm. Low chance. On we go. My Let's head over to Ark in the Black over here. Of course, once that technology is done, getting um, 30 devotees from each gift, each, each person that's gifted is essentially able to maintain an entire devotee army, and then some. So that's really useful. Alright, I don't think I need this guy here anymore. I can get rid of him. Try and save a little bit of cash. Ooh, that public order is not good. If I need to pop that down, then I can. We've still got four turns before shit hits the fan. Five turns with that, that's fine. It seems like we're going to hold on to Torso Roy now. That's not very useful. Amount of money. Uh, Seymour Z Cleveridge did a IDR 50,000 super chat, which seems like a lot, but it's probably like five bucks. Yo, Legend, long time viewer here. Really appreciate your guides and advice for Total War Games, and your videos help me through my boring work days. Cheers. No, dude, that's what I'm here for. I understand that. That's what I'm here for. Uh, I get to play games so that you are less bored at work. It's all good. Thanks for super chat. Charlie S says, I keep working and practicing at my micro, but I'm still not close to becoming anywhere close to as handsome as you. No offense, but you gave me bad advice with that long time ago. Yeah, well, some update advice. If you want to become uh, more handsome, what you need to do is um, you need to donate to more, like, uh, OnlyFans. The more, the more people that you donate to OnlyFans, the better looking that you'll become. <laughs> anyway. Claim for pleasure. Pleasure? Mm, yeah, he's at full strength at the moment, so that's fine. I shall have vengeance on them. Submission. Oh, it's Toddy. Fucking Toddy. You are in yeah, well. Alright, let's move on. No Manscaped plug? Oh, right, yeah. I always forget to do, like, those plugs. If I'm gonna do that, I'll do, like, a proper one of it.
Hey. Okay, he didn't occupy it. Why does AI Scarbrand suck? Because in order to really make use of core and special abilities, you need to fight the battles manually. And you also need to be actually good at the game, and the AI is terrible. Like, a good AI faction is oftentimes completely different to a good player-based faction due to the fact that uh, the AI will get cheats, and the player will just have tools to work with. And the thing is, with a faction that has loads of tools to work with, like Scarbrand, the AI doesn't know how to manage that stuff very well. Is that what of in your nickname means? Yes, actually, it is. Legend only fans of uh, Legend only fans Total War. Uh, Mike Bellinger did a twenty-eight dollars super chat. Haven't catch a stream in a long while, but I really enjoyed the campaign reviews. Maybe want to try a new faction. Hope you enjoyed making them too. Yeah, they were pretty good. They're pretty good. I liked I liked doing them. I was pretty happy with how they all performed. Thanks, super chat. Was a good AI faction. Uh, Zinch is probably the, like the the most powerful AI faction that I can think of. That gives the player a real hard time. But that's because of their essentially cheat codes. Skaven can also be quite problematic. I'll just take that. Who cares about their allegiance? They're not giving them money. <laughs> They're all getting in on that, and I'm going to be the one that arrives. Oh, I don't have any missions. My allies, okay. Yeah, that's the end of Avalon. Well, apart from the Phoenix Gate, which doesn't really matter. Duty is purpose. How much do I need for this? Yeah. Eternal March for the Prince of Chaos. Behold my wrath. Sends him to use his very effectively. Um, I don't think he ever uses his portals, period. I don't think he ever creates... I think that's a player-only mechanic. Alright, having a look at this one last time. Your path to us was clear. No. Oh yeah, he ended up losing the settlement to, um, <laughs> oh, he got wrecked. Uh, I don't know if I should be celebrating that. But, yeah, because Oxyodo will push his way over through here and then eventually deal with me over here. Anyway, we're well, going to have to call it a day there, guys. i got to go. We're seven hours into the stream. I really can't go on any longer. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I had fun. I do enjoy playing Nakari. Not my favorite faction, but definitely not my least favorite faction either. But, yeah. I think we had a fairly strong... Oh, there there's, there's that fucking guy. I wondered where he went. Grace. One over there. Oh, actually, what you could do in this situation, because I got full stack, come to here. Yeah! I mean, it's not full stack. <laughs> and then just go sit there. And then, hang on, can we sally out? I'll show you a little cheat. Because we're at the end of the stream. If you do this, it... Actually, you know, not, don't even go that far. If we just go to normal. A crescendo oh! Of pain. <laughs> oh well. That usually works. They must have really been outpowering us. Anyway, guys, that's the end of today's stream. Let's go chuck a host over to someone. <laughs> that usually works.
Maybe they fixed that a little bit. Uh, let me see. We're gonna chuck a host over to someone. I don't think anyone's live streaming, because most people stream all the time, but let's have a look. If I had put it on easy, we probably would have won it in order resolve. Alright, we'll chuck a host over to Shane Streams, who is currently doing a Total Warhammer 3 co-op campaign. If you want to go check him out, uh, let's just see to make sure I can actually raid him. Just give me a second, guys. Yep, okay, cool. The raid will work. Alright, I will see you guys another time. Later. Appreciate all the support.